Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's like, you know, when there's a swan or a duck swimming along the river, you think, oh, it's all going nice and smoothly. Underneath, their legs are going, it's a bit like that here today. Let's start now. My early bird is also my birthday special today. Early bird and birthday special is all, I want this. I so want this. In fact, I might just take it home. Look, oh, let me put it in the shop for you. There you go. Ignore that for now. Ignore that for now. 149.99, 100% cotton. So you see all these lovely colours around here? You get half a metre of all of those, right? Half a metre of all those. See these, your basics, your, your um, core fabrics, you get a metre of all of those. So you get in total 21 and a half metres of fabric. Let me, I'm just going to, there you go, there you go, there you go. So look, go through the purples, the pinks, the reds, the oranges, the yellow, the beige, the greens, the blues, and then all of these core fabrics. I don't know why that one's there, but there you go. Beautiful. A metre of each of those. A metre of each. Well, no, is that, you see, no, no, I love it. I love this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not being negative. But it is one of the most popular fabrics we do do. But you see what I mean? They're all beiges and blenders. And then the, I'd use that as a feature fabric, not a blender fabric. But anyway... 21 and a half metres of fabric in there. I know. Now, split pay, split pay, split pay. You can pay over three payments of 49.99. Now, we do not, we do not charge you interest. We do not, all we do is we split that price, 149.99, three ways to 49 pounds. So you pay 49.99 at midnight tonight, then another 49.99 a month, and another 49.99 a month, and then that's it paid for. Gorgeous, 149.99. You're getting 21 and a half metres of fabric. It's a birthday special. It's a birthday special. Morning, John. And everyone, feel okay after your jab? Jeanette, I feel absolutely fine, thank you. Uh, it's really weird because I went the same morning as Sally from number five and Brad from number 14. I haven't seen Brad since, but Sally's in bed shivering and everything. She's not coped at all. I was fine. I was in Western Superbay yesterday. I have to say that I had it on Wednesday and all day Wednesday, people kept messaging me saying, oh, you'll be ill, don't go anywhere, put your feet up. I had a really, really busy day. Went to bed on Wednesday night and then all night kept waking up thinking, When's it going to start? When's it going to start? When the side effects start? Oh, the side effects started yet. So I didn't have a very good sleep on Wednesday night. Um, I might need you, uh, one of you to move your microphone because I've got that really bad um, humming noise again. Anyway, anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm here. I'm here today and I'm here tomorrow. Then you don't see me for a long time. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at all those colours. Half a metre of each of these and a metre of each of those. 149.99. That's my birthday special today. Gorgeous. I'm just letting you, I'm just letting you check out. Oh, hang on, got messages here. Well, I'll just do these while you're checking out. Uh, oh, cracky loads here. there. Marcia says, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Claire says, how are you feeling today? I'm good, thank you, Claire. Kate says, morning, John. And all from a cold Guernsey. I didn't think it was cold in Guernsey. I thought it was always hot. Can't wait for the Kyle and Cow. They're sitting over there. And I'm talking about the dummy now, uh, the, the toy now, not Hannah. Um, good morning, says Glennis. Morning, John. Love the shirt, says Linda. Jackie says, good morning, everybody. Lynn says, good morning, everyone. A lovely, bright morning here today. Jackie says, morning, John. And all. Derek says, good morning, John, Hannah, Emma. Oh, I'm last, actually. Good morning, Hannah, Emma and John. Loving the shirt. How's your arm? It's absolutely fine. Gerardine, how are, you, how are you after your jab? You look fine. Anne says, morning, John. You're looking very smart as usual. Thank you. Rachel says, Gary and I haven't had any side effects, perhaps because we're only 40. If you're 40, then I'm 22. Um, uh, how are we going? New shirt today. It's lovely. It is new today. Thank you, Claire. Uh, Hayley says, morning, John and crew. Happy Friday. Helen says, morning, John. Love the shirt. And Jackie Jack says, morning, John. It's Friday. Well, except I'm working Saturday as well this week, so it's Friday. We'll wait till, wait till April. Oof. Anyway, are you, are you ever finished going through? Have you finished? I've got lots to tell you. Oh, there's loads of you got this in your basket. Please check out. Then it's your P&P done for the whole... I'm saying please. Only if you do if you want to. Um, but then it's your P&P paid for for the day then, isn't it? And there's loads to come in for today. Loads and loads and loads. Right, I need to tell you, oh, Helen says, good morning. Oh, Julie's on my bottom. Uh, morning, John, glad you're jab. Having to go to work, catch up later. Oh, see you, Julie, in Wrexham. Uh, 
Shirley says, morning, John. Looking very bright. Love it. Rachel says, I'm cheeky. Good morning, John and team says, Judith. Pam Minnie Harney says, good morning, lovely. Happy birthday, Sewing Street. It's going on its longest birthday ever, isn't it? Helen says, morning. No, you says she has beautiful morning. Kate says, morning all from a sunny Staffordshire, catching the show before taking Reggie for his tootles. Reggie's a dog. Oh, you know Reggie, do you? Oh, Reggie's the dog next door. Sausage dog. Not the same one. It's not the same one. Right, now let me just tell you, um, there's two competitions today. Oh, sorry, what was Leslie's message? Sorry, I missed that. Thank you, John and crew, for giving us, uh, giving us inspiration. Love you all, love Leslie. Oh, Leslie, my love, thank you. Right, I'm going to leave that there for the time being. Uh, today, two competitions today. One, if ev whoever, no, no, hang on, if you buy today, so that's from midnight last night to midnight tonight, and it's uh, either from me on the telly or from the web shop or anything like that, your name goes into a draw. And then during the show tomorrow, I will read out, I don't know what time, it's usually about 10 o'clock-ish, isn't it? I will read out who's won it. But today's prize is, it comes all the way from Groves. It is Tilda Fabrics, always stylish and often featuring whimsical and naive characters in the form of animals and dolls. Groves are suppliers of sewing tools, accessories and storage. And here it all is. Do you know what? These are my favourite fat quarters from Tilda ever. They're called tea towel, I think, aren't they? Tea towel and bubbles or something like that. I love these. Love these. So there's ribbon, there's fat quarters, there's lovely wide ribbon, there's wool, there's meat one, two. There's about five metres of fabric in there. There's some charm packs, there's some envelopes. There's all these patterns. And there's a mouse, a very big mouse. I think it's a mouse. We couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, is it a mole? Doesn't say, doesn't say. What animal, this isn't a competition. What animal do you think that is? Is it a rat? Well, I don't know if it's got a tail because it's got short boxer shorts on. Well, don't moles have tails then? Sorry, I was just looking for its tail. <laughs> anyway, 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 so if you buy today, we will, one of you will win this bundle of, of Tilda fabric, gorgeous Tilda fabric. Um, and we'll announce it tomorrow. So at 10 o'clock today, I'll announce, I'll announce yesterday's winner. And wasn't that an embroidery bundle yesterday? Embroidery bundle will be announced. But, 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 your name also goes in the draw for the huge prize, which will be announced on Monday with Rebecca Reed. And then that one, you get this, you get a bundle of this, you get a bundle of other fabrics, you get a sewing machine, you get one of those steam irons, you get, look, and different guests have brought in different gifts. So we've on... Makatamni, she brought in her Japanese uh, needle case. Jane's brought in some specially signed books today for you. So the prize, uh, and everybody who buys this week all goes in. So even if you win this today, your name will still be in the prize for the great big one. And that'll be announced on Monday because that finishes at midnight on Sunday. Right, should we look at today's menu? Because I need to move, don't I? I need to get on. Right, here's the menu. Right, what a fabulous year. <laughs> it's only for March. I always see what's happening for the last year, but the thing is, these are just our these are our favourite kits from the last couple of weeks. Um, then at nine o'clock, we've got the Highland Cow with Delphine. Whoop whoop whoop! There it is. That that's one colourway. This is another colourway, and there's a third colourway as well. There's, there is a third colourway which Delphine's going to be demonstrating. There they are on my shelf. Aren't they lovely? Okay, so that's the Delphine. No, not the Delphine cow. That's the cow. Highland Cow. With Delphine at nine o'clock. Ten o'clock, Jane Greenoff is in the building. Now she's not well. She's been pruning her apple trees and she's pulled her neck out of what's it. So, but she's in. She's here. She's here. Um, so she's in. Look at these beautiful. Look at that. It's a purse. It opens. It's a little purse. Look. Little pouch, isn't it? You put your passport and everything in there. Um, then you've got that shaker trio. There's loads coming up. There's another one. Oh, that's lovely. Now that's got things inside it. There you go. That's never, ever, 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 ever been seen anywhere else ever before. And there's those two sizes of the books. They're both linen. They're both linen. Um, so that's that hour. Then we've got the... Oh, this is beautiful. Show the quilt for me. Um, look. Isn't that just fabulous? I'm, sh I'm afraid my shelves are a little bit empty by the side of it, aren't they, today for some reason? What's in my... Oh, I can't slide it across. It's fixed. Okay. Yeah, people start tidying up and then it's up. What do you need, Jane Greenoff? 
Oh, so she's just come to look. She's just come to look. Then at 12 o'clock, now I'm not doing the 12 o'clock hour. No, I'm not. Rebecca Reed's coming specially to do eye knit designs, knitted cushions and blankets. I don't know, who, what's the guest called? Do we know the name of the guest? Sorry. I didn't, I haven't prepped it because it's not my show. Anyway, it's eye knit. It's a brand new guest today. Brand new guest day. Now there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. So you can email us, they're the ones that go through to Hannah and she reads out down my earpiece, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Then we've also got the Facebook Live page, which is where I read them out here. Morning, John and team. It's my birthday today, says June. Got to go to work. Disappointed that I've got to miss the show today. Have a great day. You happy birthday, June in Derby. Happy birthday. Glennie says Roland Rat. Oh, that's who she thinks it is. Norma says, woohoo, order in. Cow and Scottish fabric. Might be late, but hey-ho, had to be done. Meant, meant late for work. Kim says, you are looking very handsome this morning, John. Don't I look handsome normally? That quilt is absolutely stunning, isn't it, Pam Minihani? Right, so that's if you send a message on Facebook Live. But you can also send them via the website. You go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Oh, Elliot's in, everybody. Hello. Oh, are you not in a very good mood, Elliot? No, I'm good. Oh, he's all right, he's all right. Click on Watch the Show Live. And then to see the right there, there's a little uh, message box. You can write a message in there. And they're the ones that you see. Oh, they're the ones you see on the bottom uh, when uh, she's not writing a message today. Right. Now, if you go down, you're not, you're not writing one today then, Han. Oh, she just wrote hello. Right. Scroll down, scroll down. Now, why, that's a bestseller already. Look. But top of the, right. Now, the everything we've got on today's show is in pre-order, right? So if you go to pre-order, these are all the things I've got in the first hour. Then, oh, that's, that, that's there, the, right, that's got it, I'll explain about that in a minute. Um, then we've got the Delphine's Hour, so you can go in and buy the bundles right now for the Highland Cow. Now, we don't have the pattern on its own, do we say? It's just the bundles we have to. Oh! Oh, on my sheet this morning, it didn't mention the instructions. The sheet that Hannah sold me, sent me yesterday, didn't have that on. Uh, so anyway, so you can, buy the, you can buy the instructions, but we do have bundles as well. So they're, thou, how much are they? How much are they? $17.99 and $19.99. You see, that's a good price. When you think the pattern's $9.99. Anyway, moving on. You won't, need, you won't need the chenille maker. Then you carry on. Then this is all of Jane's hour. Everything from Jane's A. You can buy it now. You can buy it now. Now, the, uh, the, um, that's the one that's never, ever been seen before. And also, the ship one is brand new to us as well today. They're good prices, aren't they? Ooh. Okay, so the Bonder Web is for Delphine's next hour, which is here. So if you love that Tree of Life um, quilt, it comes in three different... Oh, hang on. It comes in three different colourways... Oh, yes, they're, they're right, they're right, they're right. You've got one with a, uh, there's two with ivory backgrounds and one with a navy blue background. That's the one behind me, the one, the, and it's got three different design roles with them. We'll go through all that later. Then you carry on, and then, that's it. That's it, because then, it go, then we go to Yarn Lane. So if you want, Yarn Lane's not on pre-order yet. When you, if you know you've got to go out and you want to buy something, Delphine's pattern, they're up there, look. They're up there, the Highland Cows are up there. And, um... Anything, Jane Greenoff's kits, if you've got to go out, then everything is there for you. Everything is there for you. Uh, can you buy, oh, Jane's, right, so of course, Jane's neck's gone, right? She can't, so Bill, her hus lovely husband's brought her in, and the dog, the dog Monty, Monty's a, what was he, a cockapoo? Co oh, he's gorgeous, he's gorgeous. Bernadette says, good morning, John, everyone, glad you're feeling well after your jabs. Best wishes and get well soon, Sally. Oh, that's my neighbour, Sally. Margaret says, good morning, John. Looks like you're in for a busy day. You're telling me, have you seen this? Have you seen this? My shop. My shop. Okay, have you got a picture of it rather than me trying to hold it up? Okay, this was on... Oh, it's heavy. This was on on Monday. I'll put it like this here. There are only four left. And on the day, they thought they'd sold out. These were four people who didn't check out, right? You get 12 printed fabrics and 8 metres of fabric in total and complete instructions. There it is. It's from Free Spirit. Look, you can get it on Split Pay. 139.99. Oh, yes, that, oh, yes, that's on the new Split Pay. So that's over, over two payments, that. 
So th there's a new one, right? Remember it used to be 149 and over was three payments, 799 and over was five payments. Well now 99 pounds and over is two payments. So you can get that in two payments. That's brilliant, isn't it? But there are only four of these. Only four of these available. Oh, Samatana. Oh, brilliant, yeah, well done. I was going to suggest bringing the trolley around. Anyway, look, 139.99. How big's the finished quiz? Actually, it's here, it's here, it's here. Look, this is the finished quiz. I'm not going to get up and show it to you. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you. Hannah was going to you want to hold it up, but uh, you can see how beautiful it is. Um, I'll t it'll tell me how big it is on the package. Hang on, I'll do that. Oh, right, there's loads. You've got this in your basket. 196 by 196. That's the size of my duvet, that is. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to move on. Loads of you are on the phone line for that. So please check out if you've got it in your basket. Jeannie says, morning, John and gang. What a busy day you're going to have. My order is in. Hope you and your neighbours are well after your jab. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm fine. I'm presuming Brad's fine because we would have heard on Facebook if he wasn't. <laughs> Top left hand. Yes. Oh, right. Now, I've got Delphine patterns here. Now, these are just the patterns. These aren't kits or anything like that. Right, okay, so is this Highland, ca uh, high, so it's this, this one, this one. So that's this one, this is what it'll make. It's a theme, isn't it? What, what name's Highland Cow got? Oh, it's called Highland Cow, the last one at the bottom. There you go, there you go. So it's just the pattern, £9.99. pence. Oh, in focus would be nice, oh, there you go. Let me move the cushion so you can see, I'll put it down on the table. I've got so much stuff. Here we go. So have a look at this. It's a applique cushion, step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own. Loads of you done this already because I've seen pictures all over Facebook on this one, haven't you? And you've loved doing it. Is it done with a jelly roll or design roll? But you can use, you cut your fabrics into two and a half. Oh, yeah, look, two and a half inch strips, look. Oh, is it big? Is the charm pack big enough to do it then? Done it with, they've done it with different things. So you can do it with your stash. Where's the, pat, where's the pattern pieces? That's your laying, that's your laying out. And there's all your pieces. So obviously if you used a charm pack, you'd have to um, piece them, wouldn't you? Chin from the hair on your chinny, chin, chin. Say this again, Han. Okay, th today's stock, a third of those have gone straight away. Message on my bottom. Hi, John. Is the Tree of Life quilt applique? I want to get the pattern before it sells out. Yes, it is. It's all bonder webbed and all applique done. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'd like that. In fact, Delphine has to leave that one here. She doesn't take that one home. I might look after it for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Hannah's still got my overlocker. And how long she had that? That was Highland Cap. How much longer is the birthday we... <laughs> How much longer is the birthday week going on for? Well, that's the clue. It's birthday week. It finishes on Sunday. It finishes on Sunday. Uh, my bank balance can't cope, says Amanda. Tim says, morning, John and crew. I had the vaccine just over a week ago and I've been fine. I've really enjoyed the birthday week so far. Great guests and demos as usual. Right, am I going to this one now? Oh, oh message from Margot on an email. What a week you've given us. It's not finished yet. It's been amazing. Can you have a birthday every month? Can you, we'd be shattered. We'd be shattered. But thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Right, so this one is called... You... Oh, where's its horn then? Oh, yeah, that looks like another ear to me. Right, unicorn. <laughs> Tell me about it. Morning, John. Oh, it's Susie Duncan. Love the tree of life. I know, isn't it gorgeous? I'm, I've got uh, Susie Duncan's in with me um, is it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Susie Duncan's in with me tomorrow. Here you go. So this one, it's same principle. Same principle, a Delphine design. Oh, and if you need a roll of Bond Web, which Delphine does, it's on, it's on pre-order. It's on pre-order. 
Lovely, isn't it? Obviously, it's just, it's not, it's the pattern. So you can do it in the colour ways that you want to do it in. Not as many of the unicorn ones as, I, as I'd like. Well, yeah, I'd like more. Okay. Next. You know this trough next to me, it's full already. An elephant called Ella. I've got Ella Cushion. And I've got Ella Quilt. Which would you like first? Ella Cushion first. That's this one. Now, I haven't got this one to show for some reason. Maybe we've never made that one. Maybe it's on Delphine's sofa. What's that? Oh, that's an ear, is it? It doesn't look like an ear to me. What's the matter? I can't see anything today, no. Well, I can see that's the face. Why'd you have to fold there? I'll ask Delph. Oh, I see. I'll ask Delphine later. Mm. Wendy's on my bottom now. Morning. Oh, my goodness. I've just got cushions pattern finally. Loads of people, loads of people have been asking for these. Quarter of the stock of Ella, the cushion has gone. Carry on going through. They're not gone just because I finished, but we've just got so much. Right now I've got Ella, the quilt, which is... Oh, right, okay, so a quarter of the stock of this one has gone before we've even put it in the computer. Look, there you go. This one's obviously made with kaif. Oh, actually, this must have been made with 10-inch squares because that they were the 10-inch squares that I did my demo on the other day, weren't they? Beautiful. So it's just the pattern, obviously. Here it is. Instructions and template for how to create Ella the Elephant using raw edge applique by Delphine. Message on the bottom. Uh, morning, John. I'm fine so far after my jab yesterday, but going to pretend I'm not and treat myself today. And do you know what, Ange? I suddenly thought that yesterday. I should have dad had my jab on a day when I knew I wasn't working the next day and I could just lay in bed, but I'm rubbish at doing things like that. I need to rest. Um, anyway, so I don't know when my second one is. They haven't mentioned that yet. There's the elephant pattern. Oh, I say. Feet. I don't know what that one is there. But you join them all together. Look up. up. Yeah, look, there you go. So that was that one. That, uh, that was that one there. That was number nine there, look. Now, it's really easy. It's really easy. I promise you, it's really easy. I promise. Susie Duncan, brilliant demo yesterday. I'm finally going to get Robin's ruler. Oh, did you do the, did you do the um, what's it one yesterday? Oh, you went in, were you? None of us were in. <laughs> it was very confusing yesterday because Susie sent me an email saying, oh, really looking forward to working with you tomorrow. And I was like, not in tomorrow. This was yesterday because I was at Western Supermare. Anyway, I went to the website and it said future shows and it said eight o'clock, John and Susie, nine, 10, 11 and 12 were all Vicks. So somebody mi mixed us up a little bit there because I wasn't. Yeah, I said to Hannah, we were looking for a teaspoon earlier. I said, was the dishwasher on yesterday, Hannah? And I was like, I don't know, I was at home. Said, Hannah just, had done six days in a row, which is a lot for her. Right, which one next then? Jerry the giraffe. Jerry the giraffe next, which is this one. Be gorgeous. Well, they normally are chewing something, aren't they? Okay, so that's, that's there. That's your, your um, not your appointment. What's this called? Destruction. I've got appointments on the brain now because it's been a week of appointments. Uh, Morag says, Morning, John. I've ordered two Highland Counts to treat me and my me getting second jab 
today at 9.30 and I don't do it. Oh, and they're called Jags in Scotland. They call them Jags. Because I was like, oh, blimey, she got a Jaguar car. Uh, the patterns for Highland Cow. Oh, I've got, this is Cheryl, Highland Cow, Daisy and Giraffe. Oh, uh, Vicky did put the dishwasher on yesterday. Ah. Yeah, Vix watches all the time. She's got, got it on default at home. And Vix, I don't remember saying that that purple jumper, didn't, magenta jumper, didn't suit you. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is from Hannah, right? Hannah's just said, right, John, you do say some things sometimes and they are very remembered. Says she, who told Vix my whole Duxford story. And yeah, but there was the detail you went into. The only thing you missed off was the frost on the windows in winter and the fact that the toilet froze over the winter. Yeah? See? 9.99. This is lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. That's Jerry the Giraffe. Yeah, Hannah's going to go on to um, Mastermind and I'll be going to be a specialist subject. Half the stock of the giraffe has gone. Should we do Tasha next? Right, let's do the cushion first because that's the next one on the pile. So this one here is your Tasha cushion. Nine ninety nine. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Gorgeous. So it's just the pattern again. Uh, now I need to warn you that the tree of life is flying out on pre-order. Here you go. This is the pattern. Now the, the Delphine's done it in like a rainbow effect. You don't need to do it in that. You can do it in whichever, fa you know, using your own fabric. You can do whatever colours you want. But look, she's sewn strips together to create the different colours. So this is Tasha the Tiger. Girl. Oh, Jackie's got a giraffe. Jackie's got a giraffe. Now, Jackie, Delphine said she couldn't find your message anywhere. But it doesn't matter because you've got it now, so it's fine. Oh, message from when? Oh, hang on. There's a message from Wendy, right? John, ask Hannah. Hannah? Hannah, which three cushions did I order? I hope it, I did order Ella. I can't fa find where my order is. Oh, Wendy, do, have we not got past orders on the website? Oh. And also, we, we have no access to your personal accounts here, so we have no idea. All we see is your name come up when you put it in your basket. Ring the call centre, they'll be able to tell you. 0800 001 44 It's just round the corner. They'll be able to help you. They're very, very helpful. Hannah's not got the wherewithal to be able to go into people's personal accounts. You see, I wouldn't say that, Hannah, because you'd remember that forever, then, and you'd throw that at me. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So I've got two quilts here. That's this one here. Oh! I've just, Debbie Shaw's instructions have just gone on the floor. So this is this one. This is Tasha to make the quilt. What? I've got what? Yeah, I've got Days the Cow, but I've got another quilt on the table. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Right, okay, so thank, thank you for explaining that to me in prep this morning. So this is, this is the quilt. Right, now this is highlights made with fabric, but because you're cutting all of these little shapes out of fabric, you also, no, because this, it's the reverse. It's the reverse look. There you go. So the highlights are the white on that side, but the highlights on that one. But you automatically, because you're cutting out the shapes, you've got the other pieces there to put down. 
Oh, that's nice. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I don't remember you saying that this morning. Now, which one? You, the thing is, in the pattern, you, you, you can make both of those. I like, my personal is this, with the white on top of the colour. You see, Hannah likes that one best. Come on, um, Emma, you're the deciding vote now. This one or this one. Okay, you're wrong. You're both wrong. There's no right or wrong except you're wrong. Oh, Little Paul, is it? Hi, jo oh, not Little Paul, no. Uh, hi, John. Ordered the elephant quilt, giraffe cushion and cow toy. Your birthday week has drained my bank balance and what great stuff you've had from Paul. Paul, welcome. Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's not finished yet because we've got today, tomorrow and Sunday. Never, well, it is, does end. They've just said the gallery, it never ends. It, it does, it's ending tomorrow. So that was Tasha. Did you get that one all right? Now we're moving on to Daisy, which is this one here. This is the Dairy Cow. Two different versions to show you of this one. I've got one, that one there. That was, we did this one from a panel, but you could just obviously use your own fabrics. Now, if you've got your own fabric, see how you can make these sections quite big. But if you're using uh, scraps, you can, do, you can make it with using like strips from a, um, a five inch uh, charm pack and things. But it's just the instructions, obviously. So this is applique cushion instructions. Now, have I got to get up to get the next thing, or have you got a picture of it, Emma? It's a confetti quilting instructions. I don't know if you can see it from there, because the balloons might be in the way. Nine ninety nine. We will get there eventually. The camera's on its way over. <laughs> uh, but didn't we say the balloons will be in the way? It's like, no, no, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, I've picked the green one up, but it doesn't matter because you'll do it in the colours. You now we used to be batiks to make this. You need some uh, toile, some netting. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely effect. That's not a crack in the grass. Grass? Glass? Glass. Beautiful, isn't it? It's just the instructions, though. 10th of January was when this was demoed. 9.99 for the instructions. Okay, right, moving on. Now, we're moving off Delphine for a little while, and we're going to go to... Amber Makes, which is Rebecca Reed, right? Uh, these are the Needle Case Collection. And I've got this in... What? Oh, I thought I had this in two... Oh, I've got this in two colourways. Right, so this is vintage. So you get a panel, and this is what you can make. Right, so... You have to supply your own popper, obviously. Now, you do not get the needles with it, obviously. It's just... I'll show you the panel in a second, but look... So you can store all your machine needles. And if you're watching the John Scott show yesterday, you'll have seen all, a whole film about needles yesterday. Tony, Tony, has it arrived already? I did it, I, I sent it on the same day. I was very efficient, except when I went to the letterbox, the thing said it was going to be collected the next day, but when I put the letters in, it was obviously empty. And I'm wondering if Nick, the handsome postman, had been emptied a bit early. Oh, Hannah would love him. Hannah loves a postman. Anyway, look, this is also for hand needles. You don't get the needles, obviously. I'll show you the panel. I'll show you the panel that you do. So you get the instructions, the Amber Make instructions. Amber Makes instructions. Um, and then this is the panel you get here to make all of it with. There you go. Yeah, we, when we had this last time, Hannah and I had this last time, these sold, the vintage ones sold before we even did the show. And also the bumblebees, I'm surprised they think because the bumblebees are very, very popular. But this is the vintage, so you have the little sewing machines and the bobbins and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. First time this was demoed. 
30th of November last year. Good morning, everyone, says Donna. Looking forward to seeing Delphine's demos. Fiona says, morning, John and team. Lovely sunny day in Motspa Park. Charlene says, just ordered the Ella pattern, giraffe pattern, tree of life pattern, toy filling, and Union Jack colourway for the toy kit. Bye bye, bank balance. Oh, my word, Charlene. A message. Morning, lovely John. So pleased that your jab went okay. My favourite is the dairy cow. Got that gorgeous tree of life too. No doubt more coming. She'll get more later. The tree of life, if you are thinking about the tree of life, it is selling incredibly quickly on um, pre-order. You have to go to pre-order underneath me. Go to the website. Watch live. Go down to all in pre-order. Because now, now there'll be two columns. There'll be the show here of everything we've shown so far. And the one on this side is still pre-order. I'll show you. I'll show you, right? Look. So you click on watch live. Then you go down. Now, look, there's two order, two. You see, today's show deals and pre-order. So everything I've shown so far was in, to, that's in today's show deals. Now, click on pre-order. And then you need to go down a couple of hours. So there's, the, there's two with ivory backgrounds and one with a navy background. Oh, navy background sold out. We've got the instructions on their own. We've got the instructions on their own. Oh. Right, okay, moving on. That's the one I'd have. You see, I'd have the one with the navy background. I've always said that. Right, so that's the needle case collection. And in vintage, I've now got it in Bumblebee. So you get the panel. And you get the um, instructions, and there's the um, little cases that you make. I love the way they've made them look like they're old and well used. You're to me. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. That's what they've done with me, apparently. That's nice. Oh, I don't know. Beautiful, fourteen ninety. Mm. Has it always been fourteen ninety nine? It seems that at least, because if you think these are 9 99 so you're only paying five, f that's a really, really good value, isn't it? So you get the panel and the instructions. Oh, she doesn't have a life, so it's fine. Righty-ho. I've got another Amber Makes, and it's, it's hanging on the wall behind me. It's the tote bag hanging on the wall behind me. It's just in the grey and biscuit range, this one. Frame tote bag, there's all the instructions. And you make another little bag inside for you, like your glasses or your chocolate bar or anything like that. Well, I saw the little brown chocolates from the show yesterday. I wonder if Susie made them, because uh, you shouldn't keep cake in the fridge. We need cake for tomorrow, did you say? Oh, she's bringing cakes in tomorrow, is she? Mm. Lovely. Okay, that's the frame tote bag. Also from Amber Makes. Fewer than 20 of those left now. Fewer than 20 of those left now. Should we do the Susie Duncan pattern then? That's what we were just talking about, Susie Duncan. Now again, this, this is the pattern. We use the brand new Liberty range to do this, but you can use it with using any fabric at all. Oh, actually we've got new pre-cuts tomorrow, apparently. What, what have we got tomorrow then? New mode of pre-cuts I've got tomorrow morning, everybody. In blues. Well, it's called blue, the range, isn't it? My. Oh, we've got others as well. Got others as well. So that you, you're not going to get that fabric, obviously. But here's the pattern to do it. It's um, cathedral windows, a simplified way. Oh, Jill knows why the, the cakes are in the fridge, because they, they were made with yoghurt. Uh, well, they obviously had the, was it, the brown ones, We because we just saw on the, because uh, when we come in, when we're prepping, the telly's got what, and then Vic's had, uh, Vic's had, oh, Vic's has what? The cakes are in the fridge, as they have yoghurt in them. I thought that would be best. Oh, because, yes, because you don't normally put cakes in a fridge, do because it wrecks the cake, so. Sheila says, morning, John. Morning, John. Good morning, John and crew. Got late. Got up late this morning, says Susan. Shelley says, morning, I have the bee needle set and the tea bag in bees. 
We haven't got the tea bag bad t today, have we? Pam Minihani says, Stuart's video about needles was very good, especially for anyone starting sewing. There you go. Okay. Oh, Wendy, remember Wendy messaging her going, ask John, ask Hannah. Right, she said, it's all sorted now. She's going to work now before she spends any more money. That's the joy of, of um, pre-order, isn't it? Because you, if you've got to go to work, you can order it and then you can watch the video later when you get home. Okay, moving on. Next. Victoria Carrington Seminole Cushions. Now, in here is the pattern for both of these. Now, this is what we did these with Liberty, right? That's one pattern, and that's the other pattern. You get the pattern or the instructions for both of those. In there, for $9.99, you, you get the instructions for both of those. And don't look at them thinking, oh, I could never do that. It's way too fiddly. It, it's brilliant the way it works. It's absolutely brilliant the way it works. Uh, what date did she do these? We'll just double check. 16th of January with me. With me. Nine ninety nine. Uh, Michelle says, oops, small's just fallen into my basket. Well, make sure you check out because everything's flying out this morning. I can't tell you. Okay, uh, Hannah's a bit worried because we may have stock hours with no stock later. So please, if you've got things in your basket, we'll, we'll still do the demo. We're not like one of those channels where we go, it's sold, we'll move on to something else. We still do the demo. Um, anyway, $9.99. Okay, next. Now, isn't it funny? I've had this bag in my dressing room for the last months and months and months because last time uh, Yvonne was in, she left it here. I kept it in my dressing room safe and she took it home, not yesterday, the day before. No, no, it wasn't Wednesday, was it? It wasn't Elliot tidying up. Single figures on that one now. Now, this is, you don't have to make it out of PU if you don't want to. There it is made out of PU. It's amazing. You just make little squares and stitch them together. It's fantastic. £21.99, though. I bet she's at home enjoying her new kitchen. I'd love to see what it looks like. Do you reckon it's got purple shiny cupboards and things like that? I don't know. I've just got this vision that she's had it done all ultra modern and it's like on grand designs and got, a, a, got a, an island with three lights hanging down over it because they seem to do that a lot on grand designs, don't they? Oh, oh, skylights, yeah. Oh, and she's got bifold doors going onto the garden. In fact, I think I dreamt about bifold doors last night. Oh, I had such a good sleep. You know, like, I kept, most of the time I don't sleep a good night's sleep. And I don't want to sound like little Paul, but I do wake up every few hours normally. Last night I only woke up once, last night. And I woke up thinking, oh, and I have such a lovely dream. And then went back to sleep again. It was so nice. And then when the alarm went off this morning, I really did. I was like, no, no, I need to finish the dream. It wasn't anything, you know, it was just nice and lovely. £21.99. I think you better stop drinking before you go to bed at night time. That's obviously your liver telling you something, isn't it? Happily not working today, so really pleased to have managed to get the Tree of Life in Navy, Daisy the Cow, Jerry the Giraffe, and add to my Delphine collection. Looking forward to the demo. Fabulous shirt. Sharon, thank you so much. Let's move on. Sandra Bag from Village Fabrics. This one's in the uh, pink linen, or it's cream linen with pink flowers. Then you've got the pink dot as your highlight there. Oh, it's like this, but that looks a bit blue, doesn't it? This is it, but it looks a bit blue, that one. Chrissy's asking about what, sorry? Oh, the June Taylor cut and press. Yes, we're having trouble getting a delivery of June Taylor, I'm afraid. In fact, I don't we get them via, via um, Susie's husband. Maybe we should have, ask, have a word with Susie tomorrow. We need the cut and press, Susie, badly.
25 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, hang on, what's this here then? Oh, this is from the other day. That's this, isn't it? I don't know why they've been separated. Life. Oh, this was, oh, sorry, I'm just going straight on to it. Is that all right? This was, uh, Wendy Orlando did this the other day. It's, this fabric is fabulous. You get five and a half metres of the cream, if I remember correctly. And one metre of the lilac. Then these fat quarters are all your stars in the middle. And then these fat eighths are all your other triangles. But what you need to do is this one here, you only actually need a fat eighth of that for the, for the, for the, because that is the centre of one of these um, stars. So you cut your fat quarter, sorry, fat quarter, then the rest of it is for binding and, and other triangles and things like that. <coughs> now, it's £197.99. pence. You can get it three way split paint, £65.99. 27th of this month? Oh no, last month. Because we're in March now, aren't we? Morning, John. Glad I got to see you before my five mile walk. Is this little Paul? Oh no, Elsa. We'll be quick so I can spend the rest of my morning watching Stone Street. Jenny says, morning, a little bit late as working from home. Maureen says, we need best press too, please, Hannah. I think that comes from the same place, doesn't it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. There it is, that's this quilt. Crazy Lorraine, oh there, where's she been? Morning John, loving Delphine's designs, the tree of life is stunning. It's my son Stace and daughter's Anna's birthday today, three years apart, what a lovely week. What, he and his wife? Hang on, my son Stacey and daughter Anna, no! So she had two kids on exactly the same day, but three years apart. Stacey's a drummer, it's a he, he's quite butch. He's a drummer and he loves skinny dipping. I don't know that much about Hannah, don't know that much about Hannah. And they normally, oh, they not, you know, I to tell you about Crazy Rain when she was on holiday to Gran Canaria <coughs> and she spends the whole week in drag bars at night time. You never know the difference between the drag queens and her. So they've shut the drag bar down. She's mortified. Even little Chloe, her little friend Chloe, she's mortified too and she's never been. Anyway, £197.99 will get you all of that. Carmel. Good morning, all. Thank you for a fabulous week of bargains. Uh, enjoy what's left of the week from Carmel. I loved it because um, one of um, Bonnie Langford, my friend Bonnie Langford, when she was in EastEnders, one of her first lives, somebody called her Carmel, and she went, it's Carmel, dear, Carmel. I just thought that was, it made me laugh. Anyway, I haven't got much left to show you. I have, but it's not said like that. This is what you call a, what's the real word for it? Biscuit quilt. Whoever's designed this, Wendy Orlando, has called it the old fashioned, non-politically correct name. But it's fine. It's a puff cushion. So this is it made in uh, brightly colours. This one, this one was from a panel that we had. And I think, oh, that one's for a panel we had as well. But these, these are what they'll look like. Be lovely and comfy to sit on. Oh, yeah, you could do a quilt. You could do a quilt. We just did it because the reason we did it as a cushion is because we made a panel. Or we bought a panel or panels for you to um, make it. But you could make it into a quilt if you want to. And I quite like... I quite like having a bit, because you'll have the added weight, won't you? I quite like the added weight on top of me. So you can uh, cut the fabric, create the puffs, sew the puffs, join the puffs, joining the rows, attaching the piping and attaching the edge strips. Hang on, she's normally watching, she's normally messages in. Morning, John, my four-legged alarm clock woke me and now he's, he's fed, I'm all yours. Oh, Julie. And... Um, Oh, yeah, Trudy says, yeah, can we have some best press, please? It's on the list. It is on the list. Morning, John. Taking my cat to the vet today. Oh, for teeth cleaning. Oh, don't talk to me about that. We'll be back to watch Delphine later, Junior in London. Right, OK, so Norman, when my, uh, my, sadly, they're not with me anymore, but Norman, for some reason, he used to get gingivitis all the time, so I'd have to clean his teeth. Oh, how I, how I get that, apparently? Is that because you're not cleaning your teeth properly? Oh, she's got very sensitive gums. Anyway... 
I had to clean Norman's teeth. So he had a baby little toothbrush and he had chicken flavoured toothpaste. And he'd sit there, oh, he'd love it. He loved it. He didn't like it when he went to the back teeth. He has a bit like me. He's got a gag reflex like mine. He'd be like, oh, oh, like that. But he, oh, he loved the chicken toothpaste. But never get chicken toothpaste for cats muddled up with your Colgate. That's all I'm saying. And I don't eat meat either, do I? That wasn't as bad as when I was staying at Francesca's house and I was going for a vet. I was filming. I was filming for Channel 5 and I was cleaning my teeth in the bathroom and I dropped my toothbrush and it fell in the cat litter tray. And I was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I take it out the cat litter tray and finish cleaning my teeth? Or do I put it in the bin? It went in the bin. And I finished cleaning my teeth like that with my fingers. Uh... Can you wish hubby happy 27th wedding anniversary? His name is Keving. Keving. Kevin, I think it is. Cheers, love, Samantha. Now, is it Kevin or is it Keving? I think it's Kevin, isn't it? Happy, oh, 27 years. <gasps> oh. Um, Susan's dog is rubbish as an alarm clock, but fab as a security system. Sharon says, morning, John, got my Highland cow. Yay. Jill says, have you tried a weighted blanket, John? They're amazing. I've got um, Jane Alcock's quilt that she made me on my bed. It's fantastic. But I have thought about it, Jill. I've wondered about that. My son loves his weighted blanket. Oh, there you go. They're very big in America, aren't they, weighted blankets? Right, so what have I got left? I've got a folded star cushion and I've got something in a carrier bag. That's the answer, Marion, isn't it, there? So let me do this one first, then. Oh, this, is, this one's not given a name. It's just by Sewing Street. I have to say, this is... I don't know why they've done it in the brown. In fact, it's none of it's our colourway, is it? I don't know where that's come from, the brown. But anyway, that doesn't matter because you're going to be doing the colours. You, so many people... This is such a simple effect. No, such a simple method, but so effective. There you go. Look, how brilliant is that? Nine ninety nine, folded star instructions. Uh oh, four of Delphine's instructions just fell into my basket. I've kept missing them in the past. Love you, John from Bryony. Oh, Bryony, I love you too. No idea who she is, but she. Can... Oh, oh, now, now somebody messaged in last week saying this festival of quilts happening. I was like, no, won't happen, won't happen, won't happen. Don't know why I put that funny voice on. Uh, anyway, um, and I was on with Catherine, wasn't it? And Catherine went, well, I hope it does happen because I've been booked to take classes. I got an email yesterday, not as anything special. They offered me a job or anything, but as a, as a customer saying we're plan they're planning on doing it at the NEC at the end of August, end of July, beginning of August. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Hannah wants to go. I don't know. Well, I hope it, go I hope it happens, but they'll have to have it because even by August, we're still going to have to be cautious aren't we we can't talk because you know how we're normally crammed in there we're all hugging each other and kissing each other but you know what i mean they'll have to, they'll have to be um restrictions in thingy won't they right what's this from malice and marion marion allison a cozy bed <coughs> for a pet what is that a cat and a dog there's a picture of both of them in the bed Oh, so you got another picture. Sorry. <coughs> oh, it's the same picture. Same picture. Uh, well, we haven't got it here, have we? I don't think Monty would stay in it for two seconds. So this is Alison Marion's rainbow pet snuggle bed with something fleece. A cuddle fleece. Cuddle fleece. Morning, John. I'll have the quilt behind you when that's going to be demonstrated. Georgina, it's at... 11 o'clock today, but if you want to, the blue one sold out already. We've got them still in the other two colourways, but that colourway is sold out already. Oh, we don't know what colour this one is. Hang on. Oh. I'll do it very carefully. It looks like that one. It's the, the tartan, the coloured tartan, this one. Yeah, it's tartan. Rainbow tartan, look. That one there. You don't get the cat. Good morning, John. <coughs> Hope you're doing well. 
Going for my COVID at 10. Hope yours went well. Jane, absolutely fine. I had the Oxford one. And it was really well organised. I had to queue up outside. So it was a bit nippy queuing up outside. And then we all went in slowly. And then we got to the door. And then there was a long corridor with lots of rooms off it. And then the lady there said, oh, you're in number 19. So I went to number 19. The lady doing the tippy tappy was fabulous. She said, oh, you live there. I nearly bought a house there. And we chatted about it. And in the end, she's moved in near Delphine. She, well, the, the, the actual surgery that I went to have it wasn't my surgery. We went to Delphine's village to have it done there. And then I had it done. And then you had to sit in the waiting room for 15 minutes afterwards. Some people, I was timing them, didn't stay for 15 minutes. I know. And then I was busy I was busy chatting to Brad, my neighbour, socially distanced, right? And the woman came over to me. She went, you've been here 15 minutes. And I'm like, chuck me out. Get out of here. She said, get out of here. She didn't. She didn't at all. But she did say, I think you've been here longer than 15 minutes. Yeah, OK, let's go and recap the early bird birthday special. Very quickly. Oh, my legs have gone. Here we go. Early bird birthday special. 149.99. You get 21 and a half metres of fabric. You see all of these here. You get half a metre of all those amazing colours there. And you get a metre of each of these. I know. So a metre, 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 metre. Half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. Just twist it around so you can see it like that. Remember, <coughs> everybody who buys something today, and there's been loads of you, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Your names will all go into the vi virtual hat to win the, the Tilda bundle uh, donated by Groves. And then at 10 o'clock today, or around there, I'll be announcing the winner of yesterday's. And yesterday's was an embroidery kit that Vix had on her show yesterday. And also, if you buy something today, you also go in the drawer for the, at the end of the week, Monday, be announced on Monday, and you get a sewing machine, you get one of those amazing steam irons, you get a bundle like that, you get a bundle of fabric, you get the motor fabric, you get the embroidery fabric, you get all sorts. Plus, plus, we've also got some of the designers to bring things in to put in there as well. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing prize. Uh, message on my butt. Um, hi, John. It's my birthday today. Looking forward to the shows. Thank you from Joyce. Joyce, happy birthday, my lovely. Show you around the corner, look. Happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely, lovely day. And I'll have a piece of cake later. Thank you very much. Oh, ha Anne, have you not seen the cakes in the fridge? They look lovely. They look really, really nice. Um, anyway, I've, I've got to go, haven't I? What's coming up next? Oh, Delphine. Delphine making the Highland Cow. Now, which is the most popular one so far? We're just checking. So I've got the beige one. I've got the Union Jack one. Oh, the beige one. All oh, the tan and beige ones are most popular. I've also got a third colourway as well, um, which is the one Delphine's going to be demonstrating. So don't go anywhere. We will see you in three minutes from now. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shops with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing 
and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! How cute is this? Hamish. Hamish, now, I've got this in three bundles. It's a Delphine design. Oh, let's just put his hair forward. Uh, we're going to do this one first, so I'll show you this bundle in a second, right? So what you get now, you see, 19.99. What you get for your 19.99 to make this gorgeous boy is all of this. So you get the pattern, the Delphine pattern. Now, it's not just instructions, because it has all the pattern pieces in here as well. Look, everything you need there. So there's the there's the pattern. All the instructions. Look at all the photos you get and everything. Oh, look at him sitting there. I don't think much of your raised bed, Delphine. You, you're cultivating weeds, though. <laughs> She's laughing, trying to get her machine to work. Oh. Anyway, anyway, so, th so this one, you get a square of felt which is obviously for his nose and his eyes. You get half a metre, now you'll have a lot of this left over, I imagine, half a metre of your Union Jack fabric. You get a fat quarter of red. You get a fat quarter of blue. And you get a fat quarter of the fleece. But, because the fleece fabric is wide, look, it's a big fat quarter. Look. So, one fat quarter of fleece, one fat quarter of the royal blue, one fat quarter of the red, they're the cotton, 100% cotton. Then you get half a metre of this. You don't need anywhere near half a metre of that, I don't think, but we'll ask Delphine. Black felt and your instructions. £19.99, and, and that will make Hamish. <laughs> the thing is, you could I suppose you could choose where you wanted the... Um, 
different colours to go. It's up to you, really. Anyway, so that's the, that's the Union Jack version. The one that was on the shelf, which is the most popular one, is this one, <coughs> excuse me, which was just on the shelf a minute ago. And that'll make, have you got a picture of it by any chance there? There you go. That'll make this one. This one's seventeen ninety nine. Oh, there he is, look. Giving you the eye. Right, so you get the instructions. Oh, no, there's fewer than 20 of these now. So you get the instructions. You get a fat quarter of the brown. You get a fat quarter of the tan. You get a fat quarter of the white fleece. You get half a metre of the tan fleece. And you get your black felt. So all of that is £17.99. pence. Isn't he lovely? Okay, so that's that one. And there's few... Oh, right. Uh, 14 went straight into Buckingham, so there'll be six left if those people will check out. There's only six. Oh, less than six. Less than six. Right. Now, this one is the one you're going to see Delphine demonstrating. There's not one here in the studio. So in this one, you get your pattern. You get your half a metre. No. Yeah. Is that right? Half a metre of your white fleece. Your black felt, you get a fat quarter of your coffee, fat quarter of your cream, and controversially, you get a ball of double knit wool. 1799. So this one is going to come out completely differently to the others, isn't it? Uh, the only other thing I've got for sale in this hour. Oh, I've got two other things. Where are they? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We decided, because he was Hamish the cow, there is a, that Scottish fabric. If you didn't want to do the um, Union Jack, you could do the Scottish fabric. I haven't got it here with me. Have we got a picture to show of it? There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, 5.99. If you want the instructions on their own, you can have the instructions on their own. Nine ninety nine. Do you want toy stuffing? Oh, the, the the tan the tan Hamish. There's only five left. Not checked out, but loads in baskets. Right. So they were the instructions. On the, this is toy stuffing. Three ninety nine. And if you want the white polar fleece by the half metre. So say you want to, if you bought the instructions and you want to make a Scottish white, cottage and white one, then this is the way to go. You just need a couple of other fabrics in there. You need some black felt. That's three, oh, hang on. Sorry, wrong graphics in the moment. Yeah, polar fleece by the half metre. Sorry, it was it. Oh, it's even less, it's 2 99 Is that right? It's extra wide, and that's half a metre. I know. Two ninety nine. These are. This is going to sell out. Please be careful if you want this. It's going to sell out. Okay. Oh no. Did we were saying that? Oh no. I, was, I wasn't here. We were saying that yesterday about having a um, quilt with the fleece backing. It'd be lovely and squidgy. Right. Hello, Delphine. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. I'm good. What have you done to your hair? It's nice. <laughs> was it Hannah that said that to me earlier on, actually? No, it's just like, it just needs the grey covering up. Have you not dyed it? No, no, I need it dyeing. Needs doing. Why, does it look lighter or darker? It looks much lighter. Does it? Like, much, much lighter. Oh, maybe it's the like light. sun kissed. Have you been out in the sun? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> How's your she shed coming on? You're so new. Uh, it's, yeah, it's It's getting there. Everything's just, yeah. Everything's How's just your website slow. coming on? It's getting there. It's it's ready to go. It is ready to launch. It's just, um, yeah, I've got the nerves. I don't know which way it's going to go. Whether oh, it's going to do well or got, not. If you so. don't ever try, you'll never know. Will <laughs> well, you? that's it. Yeah, and I do need to. I need to. Uh, next time I think about making it go live, I need you like a bubble. I'll think. just come round. Just well, come actually, round. soon. Soon. I'll be yes. sending you gardening shout at you. I've got so. some new garden furniture as well. Oh, I'm all ready for the rule of six. Yeah. Uh, when, but the rule of six is quite a wild yet, isn't it? April the 12th is when the yeah. barbers open and some shops yeah. can open. I need the well. barbers open. My, oh, don't my, we all? I don't know. I quite like the... the well, Jane arrived this morning and said, you've had your hair cut. And I was like, I have not. I think it's so heavy now. It just, it's just... I was waiting to see the headband. 
Did you? Well, no, no, they, yeah. I, they, I unpacked those. They've been in my bag since I did. So I borrowed yours. Actually, the first time I did it, I used... Oh, it's not here. You, oh, the one with the flowers on? Yes, I used that the first day. Of course you did. <laughs> and thought, well, I hadn't got one, so I ordered loads from the Long River. Yeah. And then I wore it, and everyone, we had such a split reaction. Some people loved it. Some people absolutely hated it. And then I went home and watched myself, and I hated it. So it's just trying it. to keep a straight face. When I look over and you're wearing that, I just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm just like, oh, flopping. Oh, I'm running your fingers through your hair. Yeah, yeah I need... No, I quite like yeah. it longer, but it needs to be... Oh, my, shaped, really. the, all the men in my house, you know, my two boys and Nick especially. Nick's got really thick hair. He's, he's just got, it, like it's a awful. Mm. It's growing over his ears. And I, lo I love you very much, but yeah, he needs but, a hair. Yeah, get your yeah. Hair. Can't you cut it for him? Yeah, I'm going to give it a go on Saturday. <gasps> yeah, I, I, I'm not too bad, actually. Okay. I'm not too bad, but uh, yeah, he does need. So come okay. on, Yvonne in the village, hurry up and open it. Yeah, exactly. Right, OK, right. there's lots of show, isn't there, on this? Yes, one? there is lots of show. So first of all, pattern pieces. So let's have a quick look at this. So there's, um, just to go through, a lot of it is quite self-explanatory, but I uh, just want to point out a few things. So I have left out um, the leave open markings. So make sure you, when you when use an interfacing to draw your uh, pattern onto. And uh, but f don't feel don't feel that you can't write onto the interface, and you're not going to be able to see it when you put it on the fabric. So uh, mark out everything. So when it says uh, back cut two one reverse, all that simply means is that you need to do it on the opposite side. So a simple way to do that is to just draw one of them on the non glue side and one on the glue side, and that's automatically going to reverse your pattern. What's a, what? What's a glue? A glue. So I'm going to use a bit of piece. Oh, of okay. We haven't got we haven't got interfacing in the hour. So you used inter is it just normal iron on interfacing? Yeah, it's just normal. You can cut out the pattern pieces and then cut straight on the fabric. But if you're going to do that, be mindful of any stretch in your fabric. Uh, so you want to make sure that you cut it on the grain. But I just find it a lot easier to use an interfacing. Oh, okay. okay. But it's optional. But it is easier to do it. This okay, way. we've got yeah. it. It's uh, three ninety nine for a meter square. Yeah. Right. And that will be plenty, that you'll get quite a bit out of that. So, yes, and then there's a few other pieces. So the only pieces that you won't cut out using the interfacing is the hair piece and the tail and obviously the nostrils and the, the eyes. You can sew these on or you can use a little bit of bonder web as well. Right. Okay, so uh, just a quick... So all of those pieces are quite self-explanatory about how you cut them out, etc. The only other thing is, is the arms and the legs. Again, it will say cut four of each to reverse so again make sure you um, reverse the pattern it's only ever so slightly in the foot piece anyway uh, compared to the curve of the arm okay. um, so the line bit is here so for example if I want to do the leg piece I would doesn't have to be perfect while you're drawing that, Jill says, I love your top. Did you make it? Have you got the pattern? Uh, I'd love to say that I made it, but no. <laughs> okay. Where's <laughs> thank, it from then? For, uh, next. Next. Okay. Yeah. We can say it. We can say Thanks, it next. next. Um, Susan says, I wasn't going to order anything today, but just had to get the unicorn cushion pattern to make for my son-in-law. He loves them. Uh, and then Claire says, please, can you ask Delphine what her angel policy is, please? Uh, yeah, my angel policy, I do have, I think I have written in the instructions. I've got no problem at all about you making to sell. Uh, as long as you don't sell the pattern and uh, as long as you um, not mass produce, yeah. obviously. Yeah, so like like we, we had this conversation last time, didn't we? we yeah. Said, if, John Lewis, if you're John Lewis's, you can't make thousands of them and sell them. But if you are John Lewis's, give Delphine they a ring. Give me a ring, yeah, too. definitely. Yeah. But, yes, but otherwise, no, I've got no problem with, with, with that at all. Yeah. Um, the only other, other one was I had some, a piece of art that um, someone tried to pass off as their own. I was going to say, so also just to also say, be honest, go, it's from a Delphine Brooks pattern because yeah. that will help to advertise you. That's as it, well, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Okay, go on. So, so I've, so when with the, uh, the leg, I've literally just uh, drew around the, the leg piece and then I've gone and drawn around the foot piece. So make sure you leave any markings on there because they're going to be what you're going to turn. Right. I've made, I've designed the, the toy so you, when you, um, stuff it it's a lot easier to stuff by doing the limbs individually especially if you're new to toy making you might find it a bit daunting making a toy so rather than uh, stuff the whole thing which you do in a lot of uh, memory bears etc this is a bit just a that little bit easier so you need those turning gaps otherwise he's gonna have flat arms and legs <laughs> okay so and then that i'll just one more piece i'll put that to one side don't need that so when you've ironed the interfacing onto the back of your pieces they will look like this right so this is the, the the wrong side of the fabric so as you can see i've left a little turning mark here mm -hmm. and you'll also leave the bottom open as well so and to sew the arms and the leg pieces together all you'll do is right sides together and you sew along that line 
Right. Are they really slightly curved in opposite directions? Very slightly, yeah. yeah. So make sure you mirror image those. And then when you've sewed it together, it will be like this. Mm -hmm. And then you sew them the two pairs right sides together. Make sure you leave the gap. Turn them the right way out. And there you are. Right. It will be like that. So that's how you make your arms and the legs. And once you've so, done those... So did you say it was... Side. Oh, sorry. It's open. Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's open at the narrow end. Yeah. And you've got a turning point as well. Yeah. So this bit, you were, this will get in encased in the seams of the actual body. Yeah. But this is where you'll stuff that's it with. You, yeah, okay. And it's lovely working with the fleece to um, hand sew these clothes because you can't see the stitches. So, um, so even if you're not the best hand sewer, it will be hidden in Brilliant. those. Uh, the same with the horns, you'll cut the horns out, uh, very, very simple, leave the back end open, right sides together, and then put them to side. Make sure that when you're going to turn them though, give them a really good trim so you get nice, po nice pointy horns. Mm -hmm. And the same with the ears. So I'll, I'll do one ear to show you as well, you're going to leave the bottom bit open. When you're, if you are doing this with your own fabrics and you're using a thicker fabric, make sure that um, you mix together thick fabrics with thin fabrics just so they go through the machine easier. Mm -hmm. And it also it gives it a nice little contrast, doesn't it, with the you know, the white on one side and the So that you'd have the fleecy on the outside and then a different colour on the inside. Yeah, or or the other way around. Yeah, yeah. It's completely up to you. So I'm just gonna do Okay, there'll be a quick question together. now. Are you using a different needle? Are you using a stretch stitch? I'm just using a normal standard needle. And and just a normal straight stitch. Normal straight stitch, quarter inch seam throughout as well, yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure you um, back stitch at the start and the begin uh, start and end of each bit, just so you don't want any of the stitches from coming loose. So needle down, let it turn. And there we are. And then with each piece, sometimes if you've gone a bit out with your cutting, you might find that when you turn it the other way around that you've not quite caught it all. If you haven't, just go over it again. Yeah. So I've left the bottom open. Just trim those curves a little bit because you don't want them too bulky. And again, the corners. There we are. And then just turn the right way out. And if you've got a turning tool, that's great because you can smooth out any of the... Um, the edges, and there you go, you've got two ears. Perfect. Don't use your scissors to t push through. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just looking for the turning tool. Oh well, there we are. Done it now, there we go. And oh. two ears, there we are. Just like that. Oh, hang on. Hannah's got a new Hannah's got a new shelving system, and apparently it's in turning tools and pointy things. Okay, thanks, Hannah. <laughs> and so Hannah, she's got this great big um, shelving unit with lots of green boxes in, right? So I was looking for something this morning, she went, oh, it's in applique. So I went to the top, didn't I? A, A for applique. It's not in any order, it's in Hannah order. So applique is about three quarters of the way down on the right hand side. Fit, go figure. But what order is it then? Yeah, go on. Right then. So let's do the face. Okay, the go face on then. Now. So I've all, you've got a bit, a little bit of black felt that's in your kit, so if you're going to use in the kits. And uh, I've used a little bit of bond web to attach those. And then at home, if you've got a, a little bit of time, then just um, hand stitch those down or machine stitch them down. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go and make the face then. So to start off with, so it's that way around, you're going to need lots of pins as well. So make sure you take your time. Now on the pattern markings, you will notice these center marks. Make sure that that lines up with the uh, one on the face piece. It's all on the instructions and all on the patterns. Let me get some pins. And why do you need lots of pins? Just to um, just make it a bit more accurate. Really. Okay. Yeah. It's not difficult though, is it? No, no, it's not. I mean, there's not many curved seams actually. I think um, once you've got the headpiece done, it's it's a doddle. It's quite yeah. a simple make. It's not as complicated. It's it was, you know, it's all in the design though, isn't it? So it's, there's been a, a few head scratches with trying to put it all together. But again, luckily Nick. The husband was to the rescue with all of his maths and Aww. computer and stuff. So, yeah, so it was a joint effort on this one. So, yeah, if you just put a few pins in, make sure that they all line up. I tend to, when I pin, always pin the centre first and then I'll pin the two ends and then in between. Yeah. And then you know it's going <coughs> to and also the, the fleece we've used, both is quite stable, isn't it? It's not like yeah. using a stretchy lycra or anything like no, that. No, and it's quite nice. It doesn't go everywhere. You know when you cut into a fleece and then it's all over your kitchen or 
like my kitchen or yeah. sewing room. And, it and what does the, what does your bobbing case look like though? After you give it a good blow, it's not through. too bad. Oh, okay, <laughs> not too bad. I am getting better at cleaning out my sewing machine. Some cotton needles. All the way to the end. Still back stitch. There we are. So there's his face piece there, and then just smooth out any any creases there. So that's that point. There we are. He's mm -hmm. not going to stay open. Now you're going to sew the dark. So we want to start giving the 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 carrot a little bit of shape now to his face, so we get a bit of character. So right sides together. You're going to sew that dark closed. Have all these pieces got interfacing on them then? Mine have only to make my life a little bit easier when I'm sewing on the telly. Okay. But if uh, if you um, is that, again, if you're going to reuse anything with a little bit of stretch, so the fleece has got a bit of stretch in it, so I'd use it for those. Okay. But you could get away with it with the on the on the cotton. There we go. So there we go. He's got a little bit of a nose now. Let me turn mm -hmm. it the right way up. So now you've got a same with these two small darts on the ends here on the sides of his cheeks. So again, right sides together, and then sew those closed. Yeah. Beverly's loving the tree quilt behind Delphine. I'm feeling okay, thank you, after my jab. No, no issues this end, Beverly. Um, the blue one sold out, I'm afraid, already. We've got two in ivory left, two different ones in ivory or cream, but the blue one sold out. There we are, and that's his cheeks. So now we're going to give him his chin now. So we are getting a bit of, getting a bit of... Oh, it looks a little bit rude from here. <laughs> <laughs> of course you'd say so that. So his chin on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, so again, you're going to line up that centre mark on the chin piece. Uh, look at the chin piece, thank you. With the uh, the nose seam, right sides together, open out those, um, so oh. finger press the seams flat, just so it's less bulky. You don't need to press press anything though as you're going along on this, no, do you? No, no, just finger pressing. So again, I tend to find it easier by pinning the centre bit first. And then you line up the chin piece. Let me just show you this piece here. You're going to line up the chin piece with just where the seam meets with the eye piece and the chin, right. uh, the, the nose piece. And as you can see, this is where it's more of a curve. So right. this is probably the only bit that you do just need to be careful pinning. And just line it up and smooth it out as you go along. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to go and pin to that side. And then you fill in the gaps in between. There we are. Obviously, I'm doing this fairly quick, but at home, just take your time. Yeah. Just to make sure it's all perfect. There we are. Let's give that a little bit, a bit of a stretch. There we are. And then again, I'm going to sew all the way around that corner now. Okay. I don't sew over my pins, so be careful to take them out as you go along. Yeah. So the curve's not that severe because you haven't got to pin in and pivot, you're just going round it. It's, yeah. It's some, because some sharp curves, you have to get to a certain stage, don't you, and then lift your foot and pivot yeah. it. Yeah, it's just, just move it with, with your fingers. There we are. To the end. Okay. Oh, one <laughs> of his eyes have fallen off. Oh no, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I saw something go, I thought it was a pin. <laughs> no, it's a one eye cow now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I can fix him. I'll put him on it. There we are. So then you turn it the right way. Yeah, but in theory, you'd have stitched it. I would have stitched, stitched it. You'd stitched the eyes on yeah. before now, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Or you can do it at the end. It's 
especially when it's been stuffed. So there you go, there's my one-eyed cow face. <laughs> 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 the other one's coming off in a minute. I'll put that one there, I don't want to lose that one. Okay, Okay. so then we're going to go to the forehead piece. So this bit I've made out of the fleece. So again, right sides together. And pin. Julie's saying, if we had other colours of fleece, we could have done a rainbow herd of highland cows. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? We haven't got any other colours in stock, have we, Hannah? Hannah wants to do a ginger one, like in real life. She's think, you're thinking of, um, are they Angus? I know when we were filming Rob Roy, me and Mr. Graham, the makeup artist, got chased by a herd of them on a night shoot. Yeah, so again. Mr. Graham, who's the makeup artist, and yeah. I were filming Rob Roy yeah. with Liam Neeson, and it was a night shoot in Scotland, and we were in this, they built a whole set, a village, and we were just standing there, mind your own business, just chattering away as you do on a night shoot, and this whole herd of Highland cows suddenly stampeded. They were supposed to be staying on the village on the set, oh, and they decided okay. to chase after me and Mr. Graham. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Oh, haven't you? They're, they're, they're so. muscly and big. Mind you, that, that's a bit like my story with the lion, but I'll tell you about that on another day. <coughs> I was on a film with, with lions when yeah. we were in South Africa, and one of the lions escaped and ran straight towards me. <gasps> and we'd had lessons beforehand about if a lion escapes, what you're supposed to do. Go, what are you supposed to do? S stare it out. Stare out a lion? Yeah. Uh, you're so frightened, you're so frightened that there's nothing you can do. So I literally just stood there staring at this lion thinking, I'm dead, I'm dead. Anyway, knocked me sideways, knocked me out of the way because there was somebody behind me running and he ran after the boy that was running behind <gasps> me. Oh Luckily, I got by taking my car to the set, not locked my car, the boy jumped in the car and the lion jumped on the car. Oh, crikey. Oh, me. don't. So I, it was quite close then? Yeah, yeah, very close. I'm just going to sew this dark yeah. clothes now. So again, right sides together. It was nothing to do with my power stare. I was literally just going, this is it, it's going to be in the newspapers tomorrow. Costume supervisor <laughs> Eton on film set in Africa. <laughs> Morning, John and Delphine, says Helen. Um, I've never made a toy before. Delphine, would you say this one is easy for beginners from Helen in Scotland? Yes, definitely. <clears throat> like I said, apart from the head where you just have to use a few more pins, everything else. But none of that you've done is difficult. It's, it's no, so far. It's no, not, not at all. Not at all. I've designed it so it is for a beginner. So, um, no, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to do it. Give it a go. Right then, what am I doing? Oh, ears. So, I've got my ears. So what I'm going to do now, which way, da, 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 there we are. That way around. So as you can see, they're a bit folded down. Yeah. So what you do is fold it down like that. Okay. And then, and then you're going to attach it to the head. Now, what I tend to do before I uh, uh, attach it to stop it from moving around is I'm just going to put it under the machine and just give it a few stitches. Oh, okay, just to hold the, the, the fold over in place. Yeah. You don't have to, but and if you are doing it, make sure it's right to the end so it gets lost within the um, the seam. Jeannie says, I've already got the giraffe and the highland cow and the elephant, but just ordered the unicorn and the tree of life. Thank you, Delphine. Your projects are amazing. Oh, thank That's you. That's Jeannie, and then she loves my shirt. Thank you, Jeannie. It's a new one today. It's a new shirt. You've not seen this one before. Wait till you see tomorrow's. Oh! <laughs> it's a special tomorrow. Is it here? No. Oh. Still in its packet at home. There we go. It's looking more like a sheep at the moment. I have to say, wait, before you, I thought it looked like a monkey. It does look like a monkey. Yeah, you can get away. Yeah. yeah. So that, maybe that could be your neck. Oh, no, now, it's like, now it looks like a pig when you have the ears like that. Very. Which way? But, yeah. Anyway, make sure they're on the right way up. Yeah. Are there notches of where to sew the ears? Uh, it's, <coughs> all, it's all in the pattern, yeah. Okay. There's little marks, yeah. So, again, you, you can either hand stitch this close, uh, hand stitch this to the face, or you can just uh, put a little pin. So all you're going to do is make sure that the bit that you want on the uh, to show on the outside, so the inner ear, is facing towards the face. Okay, Amanda and says, uh, Morning, I've just joined. Can you move the ready-made cow? He's stuck behind the graphics. I can't see him. Your cow oh, needs to come cow. on this side of the table. Oh, except not, not as far as me. There you go. Is he in, oh, no, he's being your way there, won't he? I know. What you should do is you put him in the box. So I can go, I'll go, and you, have the, you can have the cow in the box. <laughs> Bye. Right, so all I'm doing now is, again, uh, make sure you sew it so it, the stitches will be hidden. So make sure you've got a nice sharp needle on your machine for this. 
Yeah, when was that one? Was that one Char changed last? <laughs> I don't know. That was what I'm just thinking. Yeah. Hannah, have you got a drawer with sewing machine needles in them? Not now. In, in the break, give Delphine a sewing machine needle. You'd have to do it now. <laughs> She's going to get now. So sewing machine needles are the second box in on the top line, top row. Just so you know, in case we need for future. So that's, oh, there's one in the guest room as well. So that's just Lucy. <laughs> he looks daft with one eye. <laughs> Let me just get that. So. so when you do get to the thicker part, just take your time, go a little bit slower. If you go a walking foot, would that help, do you think? I, I, I tend to always have a walking foot on my, my machine. It just lives on my machine unless okay. it's a free motion foot. So oh, he's, he's otherwise gone now. Yeah, the, that's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he looks funny now. Okay, and then you're going to do the same with the horns. It's all in the pattern, the positioning of the horn. So make sure you draw it onto your um, onto, your violin. onto your piece. So again, I'm just going to put that on. Oh, I'm back in the box now. I thought we were having um. The other one, make sure the opening of the horns at the back. Suzanne says, morning all. I'm getting quite a collection of Delphine's projects now. I'm very excited to be doing the Highland Cow. Very cute. Thank you. Oh. I'm looking forward to seeing the first one made up. And on Facebook, yeah. Yeah, on the Sewing Street fan page. So, yeah, a race to see who makes the first one. Yeah. OK, so there we are. They, you're starting to look more like a cow now, but with, without any eyes. There we are. OK. So that's the front of the face done so right. we can move him over there now the back head pieces now again there is two markings on the back head piece that you're going to leave open make sure you leave that open uh, because that's where we're going to um, it's easier to have a, a bigger space for the head to be sewn inside the body so right sides together and you're going to sew from the top all the way down here make sure you back stitch so nothing comes loose no says the cow will struggle to read out the messages if it goes in the box oh I don't know the back head piece done there so now we're going to start looking at the hair so the hair in this one is a little bit different but just to quickly do a demo on how to do the hair for the Scottish one and this one yeah you've got a template in your instructions uh, about this size oh hang on yeah you go and there then you go. use a rotary cutter all you do is cut strips oh, okay so I'll do it for the tail because I'll use this one's tail so imagine that's the hair you this is what you do for the hair in the tail right you know roughly a quarter of an inch um, but you can add, you can make the the strips as thick or as thin as you like really stopping just before the end and there you go and that's all I did for the hair and the tail so nice and simple so I'll keep that because that's going to be uh, our tail that we'll use okay. in a bit so that's how you've done the fringe on that one and the Union Jack one. yes yeah. yeah so to do this one uh, all this is is um, with the yarn really really simple about I roughly about 15 centimeters in length I the yarn only comes with the one that kit the Delphine's demoing it the other two have fleece for the hair so just uh, a few little strands bearing in mind you don't want the bunches to be too thick because that said it's got to go through a few layers on the machine and yeah. you want to make sure it goes through so about 10 between 10 and 15 and um, there we are. As you can see, I'm not being that fussy about the length. And then you just make them into a pile like this. This is very similar from when I did um, at Christmas when I did the um, the gnomes. Uh huh. When I did the gnomes hair, so it's exactly the same on, uh, as you do for that. Um, there we go. And then you just tie it in a little knot around the top put it nice and tight and then you cut off the top bit don't worry about those bits because you won't see them they'll be hidden inside the head and then let's roughly tidy up 
There we are. Oh, so you make several of the tassels. Yeah, so you make about five bunches or so. Okay. So the, um, if you're doing the fringe with the other um, this way, you would just uh, put it on there, right sides together, and you would just secure it in place. Again, right fairly close to the edge so it gets hidden in the seam. Right. And you just do exactly the same with this one. So we'll just... Um, not as easy to pin this one though, is it's it? It's not as easy to pin. So what I'm going to do with these ones is just take it, in, just take it to the machine. I'm going to do the centre one first and then fill in the gaps either side. Oh, okay. So And just go over it with a couple of stitches just to secure it into place. So... One on. That's quite cute. Mm -hmm. And then oh, this one's got a little curl in. Look. Oh, that's the Hannah, not the Hamish. <laughs> if you put eyelashes on it, so it could be a little girl. It I could suppose. be. Yeah. yeah, could do a little pink one. I know we're gender fluid here at Saint Street. Can be whatever it wants to be. There's two. So you can put on as many of these as you like. But again. Just be mindful about it going through your machine. Oh, now did you know this? The Highland Cattle Society, yes, there is such a thing, allows five colours, white, yellow, red, black and brindle, which is a bit like tortoiseshell, but no white. Not sure about the union flag. Highland cattle don't come in herds. They don't come in herds, they come in folds. Oh. My late brother-in-law inherited a fold of pedigree Highland cattle. <gasps> Can you imagine, oh, we've gone to Will Reading, and to you, John Scott, you've been left a fold of cattle in Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can, Hannah could graze them out on the grass outside her house next to the sea. Could you sew the wool into a strip of fabric to make it easier? Says Lowe. Could you sew the wool into sew a strip of fabric? On oh, two. You mean, Does she mean on two? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Marina says hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Marina was on my show yesterday, the John Scott show yesterday. <coughs> there we are. There we are. <laughs> I quite like that. It's quite fun. Very Highland cowish. Oh, I think she means could you sew it onto a strip of fabric yeah. to make it easier? Yes, yes. yes I see what I mean. That was the word. There we are. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So now let's finish the headpiece. So the bear's that back headpiece gone. There it is. So fold all that in on itself. Oh, this looks like the trickiest bit. The, this this piece, this bit and putting the head on, onto the body is probably the trickiest bit. Yeah. Okay, so the headpiece, right sides together, line up those centre seams, make sure that that bit's open, the, the seams are open just to make it. Now this bit is going to be quite bulky, so make sure you take your time when you're sewing over these pieces. Laura says, thank you, John and Delphine. Listening to you has got me through my jab. Oh, oh she's she's waiting now. Oh, right. oh you're what waiting in the queue now. Oh. There we are. Did you have the other cake, Hannah? Oh. Now he looks like a floppy Viking, apparently. <laughs> says Chris. We'll have a look when we um, flip him through. Yeah, we are. Just lining up all the bits and pieces at the minute. Yeah, this is... Michelle said, can you hand sew the hair in? Yeah. Oh, yes, you could do. Just tack it in and then just machine the in. seam. Yeah, exactly. But as you can see, just going over it with just a couple of stitches, it's secured it in place. Yeah. So. Yeah, but if you, if you like hand tacking, yes, you can always tack it into place and then it'll get caught mm. now when you do the seam. So this pit, um, as you can fix, I can feel within my fingers, some parts are quite thick. So you might want to need to go over it a couple of times with the machine or, uh, d uh, just, or you can hand sew this bit on as well. Jean says, am I going mad? I can't find the Tree of Life anywhere on the Sewing Street website. Right, Jean, very quickly, you need to go to the website, click on Watch Live. Right, then you go underneath and it's in pre-order. The blue one is sold out, but there are still two cream and ivory ones there. And you can buy the instructions on their own and then use your own fabrics. But it's on pre-order underneath us live. So 
Okay. There we are. I'm going in. All right, it's been waiting. Oh, she's she's had a jab and she's doing a 15 minute wait afterwards. The lady could hear voices and I told her I was listening to you too. Oh. Uh, I don't know you have to wait 15 minutes. Is that in case you have a turn? Yeah, if you're driven. if you Because you'd walk, wouldn't you, from your house? Yes. So you'd be fine. You could walk straight home, but you're not allowed to drive for 15 minutes afterwards. So after you've had your jab, they say, have you driven here? And if you go, yes, then you have to sit in the waiting room. 15. That's if you have the Oxford, you don't, if you have the other one. Oh, right, um, so okay. So if you, if you go to, obviously you'll go to where I had mine, because it's in your village. Yeah. So um, if you drive there, you'll have to sit for 15 minutes, but you just better walk home past the cake shop to go home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I live, luckily, I live on the other side of the village. So oh, I'm, you were that way? Yeah, so oh, I don't okay. have to go past. Yeah, don't be tapping that, that's giving me a clue now to which side you live on, so I can only have to stalk you on that side, <laughs> not on that side of the village. I live on the new bit at the end. Oh, okay. Like I said, when it's all over, you have to come round for a coffee, Joe. Oh, I will. You can uh, see to my flower beds. <laughs> it's not very good. Yeah, it? I don't do it. I'll bring Danny the gardener out. Oh, is that mine today, actually? Yeah. Putting up trellises and plant, well, you've got to be planting my rose garden. But you've got, got a gardener? Roses. Have what? You've got a gardener? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course he has. <laughs> No, it's one of my luxuries. Because uh, I love having a lovely garden. Yeah. But I hate yeah. doing it. No, I'm the same. My, my gardener's called me mother-in-law, Ursula and, and, and Petey. But uh, they've obviously not been at the come to the house. Oh, so. they're allowed to because it's outside. And oh, no. he doesn't have to go through my house to get to the garden. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they can... Um, I'm looking Is forward to... Is it your to real mother-in-law? Sorry? Is it your mother-in-law, did you say? Yeah, my mother-in-law and my father. My mother-in-law's better at gardening. Um, she knows a lot about flowers. Yeah. Uh, whereas I'm rubbish. So yeah. each year we go to the garden centre together and I choose all the flowers. And, and pay for it all. And, and pay for it all, yeah. And then uh, I, I pay for her in, in dinner and wine. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, 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 of course. And, yeah. Um, and, and then, just being her daughter-in-law. And Well, exactly. I'm fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then she does all my gardening for me. Oh. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Because I'm, I'm rubbish. I can't keep anything alive. Oh, well, I can see Apart from the <laughs> Apart from what, the weeds? That's, yeah, but I can't, you can't blame me for that bit because that's my new house. And? Yeah, well, it was the people that it was there before. Oh, so you're blaming them? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. But you could have gone next door to your lovely neighbours next door and said, can I just take a picture of this in your garden? I haven't spoken to my new neighbours. Oh, haven't you? No, they've they're they're not come around with a card or some sugar or some no. champagne or anything. No. Oh, so we did across moved the to road, my though. village, you've been very different. Yeah, well, you live in the village. Oh, mind you, they have been quite no, nice. No, you live in a lovely village. It is, it is a nice You've village. You've got a cake shop. We haven't got a cake shop. We have got a cake shop. The best one. We've got the popping shop. We do sell cakes in the popping shop. There you <coughs> go. So, oh, his nostrils are falling off now. That's why you got to sew them on. Don't yeah. rush like I did. So, you put turn him the right sides out. There we are. There we go. Oh. I know he's got no eyes and his nostrils are about to. We well, can't off. see because his fringe but, covers his eyes. But you uh, get you get the idea. So, what I would do now, I always go round, and I just quickly check if everything's caught, and if it hasn't, so I'm not happy with that ear. Yeah. It's fine, you can just, and also you don't have to worry about pins now because it's all ready to go. Of course. So, and then I just go round again and then that way you know everything's been caught. So you don't have to be as uh, cautious on this one. So oh, now, uh, Daphne said, uh, I'm just asking, will there be Welsh, Irish and Scottish uh, as uh, and English as opposed to the Union flag? We have Ooh. got Scottish, we've got the Scottish. I haven't got it here. It's not in a bundle, but it's underneath us if you go to, it's been run through, so it'll be on show deals and everything. Uh, in the range of fabrics, they didn't. The, the people who made the range didn't do a, Wel a Welsh or an Irish one or the English one. They just did the Union Jack and Scottish for some reason. But I suppose it covers all bases. Oh, huh? Great Britain. Oh yeah, the Union yes. Jack does. But then the Welsh flag's not in the Union Jack. Of course, it's not. No. No. Uh, no. You um, have to applique a dragon on it. Yes, no, you could do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, we had it some um, because they've all got like what do they call it? Oh, they brand no, not brand them. That, anyway, the thing in its ear. You could put a little earring on it, couldn't you? Uh, right, so Pauline says, I had the Pfizer last Friday. I had to wait 15 minutes and someone took me. Oh. Um, and then um, Princess has got a proper gardener. He's, he, I also have a cook and a cleaner, but he's called Paul Mahavi. I'm very lucky to have my wonderful husband. I'm too good at growing weeds. I absolutely hate gardening, says Sue. Margaret says, whilst watching, la oh, that's she's telling you how to order it. Thank you. Didn't know husbands came in different flavours. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Lowe says the garden is essential. Good for Jeff's mental health. Stops me moaning at him. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, so but we won't have Pfizer because isn't Pfizer the one that's got to be kept at minus? It's the one's got to be kept in something, the fridge, and you yeah. do, they don't do that in. I don't think they do that in just doctor surgeries, do they? I don't know. I'm not an expert. There we are. Anyway, right? Okay. So head is done. Yeah. So let's go on to the body. So that's that's the the one bit that takes the most time is doing that. Okay. So the body pieces. So I've given him a this one a, a light tummy. Right. So again, mark on your pattern pieces where the arm le arms and legs go, and I'm going to sew. Yeah, the centre seam, right from the top here, all the way down that curve to the bottom here. You can pin if you want to, but, you know, because of uh, time, etc. Right. And also it's quite stable, so you don't yes. need to. Yeah. And then so you're only going down one side? Just the one side. Okay. Make sure you go down the right side. So. Yeah, so not where the arms and legs are, no. the other one. Delphine is fabulous. Everything she does is stunning, says Julie. Well, Aww. not gardening, obviously. Not gardening, <laughs> And also, you know, it out of the ones that are good, it takes a lot of designing, you know. So oh. if, you, if you picture the first one of these I made, oh, you would have laughed. Oh, well, well that's how you, that's how you, <laughs> you get to, to it, isn't it's it? It's lo yeah. lots of uh, trial making, and trial and error, yeah. There we are. And there's, his, there's the tummy. There we are, like that. And then for the back pieces... So again, right sides together. Now that little tail piece, there is a little mark on the pattern. Yeah. See, I thought I cut two the right, both the wrong side then. So the little tail piece, you just want to pinch, sandwich it in between the two back pieces. Like right. That. And again, it's all marked on where to put in. Don't they have long tails? I don't know. Oh, excuse Not me, research, side, research darling. <laughs> I just thought first, before I'm doing that, oh you've yeah. got to sew the darts do closed. The darts so ignore me, do the darts first. I don't know. I've never looked at a cow's tail. Tail. I've well, seen yes, it does, because they don't think they swish off the flies with their tail. Oh, yeah, and they have like the little corner. Yes, I know what you mean. A bit yeah. like... Um, yeah. Like an ox tail that yeah. you make the soup out of. Yeah. With then the, the tassel on the end of it. <laughs> what? What was that? Like an ox tail, you know, when About you make the ox soup? tail soup. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's a, it's a strong flavour though that, isn't Oof, it? I don't do meat anyway, so... Oh no, you don't, do you? No. There you go. Just trim off any threads. So now you put them right sides together. Okay. With the tail in? With the tail in. I'm going to line up the pieces like that, yeah. And then with the tail then. And I'm going to sew down the centre seam from here all the way up to here. And you want to make sure you sandwich that tail in between. Slower when it's through the thicker parts, and then you're stopping at that uh, leave open sign because that will be your turning gap and where you're going to stuff in. So okay. when you open it out the back piece, it will look like that. So like I said, you're not sewing all the way to the top. You're going to make sure you leave that open for for turning later on. Uh, yes, John, cattle do have long tails, and yes, they have a tassel of long hairs at the end. If they hurt, and they hurt if the swish it, oh, and it hurts if they swish it across your face whilst you're milking them. Well, this is a boy, isn't it? Oh, I just thought I'm lifting this. Don't, you don't milk the boys, do you? Uh, oh, what are you doing? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's the best, is that all right? Is that all yeah, right, that's fine, it? but as okay. long as you can see, as long as it's not in the way of seeing your demo, yeah. that's all. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the arms and the legs and the front piece. You're going to need these bits now. Right. So the arm. So we haven't stuffed piece? anything yet then? No, you don't stuff it, any of it to the very end. Oh, okay. So let's do the arms first. So the arms here, making sure that you've got that turning gap at the top. Now take your pieces, open it out, and then you're going to pinch the seams together like that. Right. And then you'll position it onto where it's uh, positioned on the pattern piece, onto the body piece like that. Right. And with the other one. And again, just put a few stitches on there, make to sure hold that, it to hold place. it. Or you can pin it, but it just makes your life a lot easier. Or you can hand tack it. If you or like hand tack it, you can hand tack it. Yeah. 
Suzanne says, I, hi all, love Sewing Street and everyone on it. Ordered Highland Cow for my first grandson who lives in Scotland. Can't wait to make it, love from Susan from ba Barnsley, that'll say. Barnsley, I'm guessing. No, South Yorkshire this is. So it's Brie Barnsley. Don't you have friends in Barnsley, Hannah? <laughs> Uh, I'll same. tell you later, Delphine. I can't tell you right, okay. <laughs> The same for the leg pieces, the le open gap, the back. Oh, Derek says if you pop the cow onto the shelf behind you, you'll be able to see it all the time because it's empty there. Oh, Derek doing the directing now. But there's a space <laughs> right behind your head where the cow oh, could sit. It's got all fluff stuck to it. There, there you go. go. There you are. Perfect. So the leg pieces, make sure you've got that bit open at the back. Pinch the seams together and then you're going to position it so it's facing the body. Yeah. And again. Oh, Jean got the tree of life. She found it. She got the tree of life. That's brilliant. Can be none of that left by the time you come on to do the tree of life hour, Delphi. Oh, go home. Well, no, you still got to demo <laughs> it. I've only got to go home and make the beds because I bet Nick's not made the beds or tidied up. So I'll be doing oh. that. Yeah. You have to make dinner and everything. Oh, I don't cook Fridays. What, you'll starve on the Friday night? <laughs> when you get to the chippy? <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, it used to be pub tea Friday. Oh, okay. But that hasn't happened for so of long. Not, no. So now it's, yeah, it will be chippy tea or... Our pub like does some um, delivery and everything. Yeah. They do a special <laughs> treat. <laughs> yeah, so I look forward to a Friday. Yeah, I don't cook Fridays. I have a, I usually have a nice hot bath on a Friday. And just let the others fend for themselves. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I love Delphine's work. She's a star, says Margaret. Oh, love <coughs> Thank you, I Margaret. I bought the steam train cushion, but just waiting for the panel. Oh, or the panels with this panel sent out later. I know there was an issue with the printers, wasn't there? There we go. There's his arms and his legs. Looks a bit like that. Looks like a chicken now. Looks like a chicken, doesn't it? So now what we're going to do is sew these pieces together. The back piece and this body piece. Right here. So fold it all in. Try and do this as quick as I can. Line up the bottom and make sure that those legs and arms are out of the way. So take advantage of the opening gap at the back and the top. So just let them all hang out a bit. So I find it easier to pin and sew one side and then undo the other rather than the whole thing. Yeah. Just because you just get stabbed with pins as you go. Yeah. Oh, got a picture of a Highland cow from Chris. Ah. This is Hamish. We met him on holiday in the Highlands. Oh, see, Hannah's going, it's ginger. You should have done a ginger one. <laughs> but the one behind's not ginger. Oh. Okay, so because Hannah's da dad is ginger, they when they go on holiday, they make his Hannah's dad sit stand by a Highland cow. And so well, and they go, "This is you and your family, Dad." That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Yeah, That's Hannah. Someone. Okay, so I'll pin that bit, and I'm just going to sew that bit from the top down to the the bottom seam and then I'll pin and sew the other side. Right, okay. How are we off? How are we for minutes? Four minutes with Delphine. And because this one's nearly finished, I'll finish him at home. Oh, will you? And, uh, you know, stuff him in. I'll put the pictures up. Hi all, says Sam. You've opened up a whole new world for me with your amazing patterns, so thank you. I love watching you too, John. I can sew patterns as well. Sam, I can do the sewing as well. Laurie's in from Suffolk. No Stuart today. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. After the... Okay, so when the, you're down by the bits where it's where's the legs and the arms. It's not a cow, it's a coo, apparently. I know, I've seen that a few times. Island coo. coo. Yeah. 
Thank you for all your messages about flags. Hannah's writing them all down. She'll can tell me afterwards. So just take it a bit slower on the bulky bits. Look after your needle. That's one side done. Right, I'm going to quickly do this side. Okay. And then I can show you how to attach the head. Brilliant. And then the rest of it is just um, stuffing it. Is, is uh, When you do stuff, when you do come to stuff it, because obviously we won't have time to do that today, uh -huh. uh, pack the head really, really tightly yeah. um, first. And only the, the body, the, 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 sorry, the arms and the legs, pack the, the hands and the feet tight, but the arms and the legs are just a bit looser. So it's a bit softer on the... Okay. Yeah, otherwise you'll be able to let it sit down. If It'll it be like that yeah. in, yeah. A bit like Hannah after Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? I just said no Stuart today. Stuart's just messaged. Morning, just got in. Oh, had to take the cat to the vet again. Oh, no. Now he's having peanut butter on toast and playing catch up. What, the cat? No. <laughs> well, the cat had a funny turn last week. Oh, no. Oh. And, um, and, then, so Stuart, so, and then by the time he got to the vet, he was fine. And it's obviously had another funny turn. Oh. Morning, John and Delphine, says Carol. Julie says, is there anything Delphine can't do except gardening? She's a powerhouse. Oh, bless her. Thank you. Carol. Right, I can start. Do you want me to start the list? Yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots. Believe me. Oh, she can break needles on the sewing machine. I did. See, there you go. Then something wrong. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a quarter. Oh, it's not broken. It's, it's not, not broken. Made the noise of a broken needle. Though, it did. It? it made the noise of it. But it's all right. I should have changed it. Right. Anyway, you get the gist. So yeah. I've <laughs> sewn that together. Don't Forget turn it about... through. So you wouldn't turn it through anyway. You'd leave that the wrong sides out. You'd leave it like that. Oh, do you? But you leave oh, the you head. Yeah. You leave the head the right side out. So you leave that with the right side out. And then what you're going to do. So you you've sewn both those sides up together. And yeah. you see the centre seam here with the tummy. Yeah. That's got to line up here with the chinnies. Now there is a little line, if you have marked it out on the pattern, it is there. So you just put that inside the body. Oh, so you do it like when you're doing a bag, when you bag, yeah, like you, you put do... right sides together basically. Yeah. yeah, oh he's lost a nostril now. <coughs> come on. Now and again, this is quite an easy seam to sew. I know this bit looks quite complicated, yeah. but it's not. It's actually quite simple. So I'll just put a little pin in there and what you'll do is put the pin in that side and then with a the back head piece like that. Crazy Rain loves your designs and your demos. Mm. A lot of Delphi love coming Hannah, in today. Hannah, love it. There? Thank you very much everyone. It's oh, nice. Hannah, Hannah loves you Delphine as well. Oh, I love you too Hannah. And you Josh. Well, it's all right. I don't mind being loud. <laughs> and then all you do is pin all the way around. And then again, you start from the back end, the back seam, and you'll sew it all in. And then you'll pull the head. So imagine I've sewn that seam. Yeah. And then you'll pull the head that way. So it's right. So, so, it's, all, so it's all, so now it's all, all inside, inside out. out. And all you'll do then, let me just pull this head out. Oh, it's pin. Qu quite a lot of. Yeah, there we are. So then you'll pull the whole thing inside out. You'll close that back seam here, but leave that gap closed. So you would sew that back dart in the back of the head just to the next seam, give it a couple of back stitches, because yeah. that's gonna, you'll be using that a lot to stuff in with. And then you, uh, you stuff through the back there. So remember, you, stuff, you turn it right side out, you stuff the head and the body first, yeah. pack it really, really tight, and it's just a, a, a a ladder stitch to sew it closed, uh -huh. and then you sew the uh, arms and legs as well. Perfect, perfect. So I perfect, will, perfect. I will finish this. I, I will. Finish All right. It. Then. Yeah. Uh, Delphine's back in an hour with the Tree of Life, but if you want the Tree of Life, you have to be quick because they are all selling very, very fast. So, should we do this one first? So this is Hamish made with the Union Jack fabric. Ooh. Okay. So in this bundle, you do get the instructions. You get the felt. You get half a metre of the Union Jack fabric, you get a fat quarter of red, a fat quarter of blue, and a fat quarter of the white fleece, and that's all £19.99. pence. Then you get the one that, was on the that is on the shelf, and in this one you get the pattern. Oh, sold out! 
That one sold out, that one sold out, that one sold out. So the only other one is the one that Delphine was working on just now, where you get half a metre of your white fleece, your cream, your coffee, your latte, your black velvet, I uh, know velvet, felt, and your wool, yarn, and your instructions, £17.99. pence. Instructions on their own. Thirty. Thirty left. Three zero left, but lots in baskets. Nine ninety nine. All the full instructions with all the pictures and the pattern pieces and everything you need. So if you are going to make it out of your own fabric, you don't even need to use polar fleece if you don't want to. You could just make it all out of cotton, couldn't you? You could do a Liberty one or a William Morris one or a Tartan one, whatever you wanted to do. Nine ninety nine. The white polar fleece on its own, which normally sells out. Oh, it has sold out. And what was the other thing? Oh, the Scottish fabric. The Scottish flag fabric. Which I haven't got here with me. This is it here. There you go. There it is. Five ninety nine. I thought the toy filling was about to sell out last time we showed it, so I'm surprised there's still some there. And the toy filling. Graphics coming in for the toy filling now. The coup is fabulous, says Stuart. Well done. Sylve says it's not just... Oh, it's not just driving. I had to wait 15 minutes and I had mine done. Oh, 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 oh. I've lost my, all my messages now. Oh. I had to sit and wait. Wasn't even allowed to walk back to my office. Oh, Sylve. Well, maybe you're a bit dodgy, Sylve. Do you think? Anyway, 3 99 3 They were only making the people stay who'd driven yesterday. Other people were just walking home from the village. Right, don't go to air. Jane Greenoff is after the break. We've got some, well, we've got one thing that nobody, no, even Jane hasn't seen it yet. It's brand spanking new. We've got another one with the ship on, which is new to us and lots of lovely goodies. Jane's only here for one hour this time, remember, so make the most of it. I'll see you in three minutes from now. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shops with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. I think Jane Greenoff tried to make excuses not to come and work with me. Last time she had something wrong with her leg. Today, she's only been pruning apple trees with a new gizmo that son-in-law, somebody bought son for you. Bought son bought it for her. Right, there she is, there she is. Uh, and she's been like this, up a tree, and it's like a lopper with a saw on it and everything like that. She was fine, because she, uh, that was after. That was after she dispersed the wasp's nest and everything like that. Anyway, she woken up, or woke up in the night. No, you were fine during the night. Yeah. Woken up this morning. Can't move. Anyway, she's here. And uh, here. poor thing. How many Cocodamols have you taken? I'm not telling you. <laughs> More than I'm supposed to. Uh, she doesn't have to drive herself, so you don't have to worry. Bill no, has brought her yeah. in and everything. To her Monty. He, he's... Uh, no doubt looking for extra brownie points because he got up at four o'clock this morning oh, and God. isn't watching the cricket. Oh, oh, you see, the thing is, I thought he was going to come and sit over there somewhere and watch the show earlier. But I obviously think he's, he's in the, the green room. Yeah, watching the cricket. No, no, watching me. Oh, oh that's Rich. right. Oh. Anyway, hi, everyone. Nice um, to be back. Thank you so much for coming that's in. That's all right. That, uh, was... She's now got my mobile phone number to wake me up in the middle of the night no, if she's <laughs> in agony next time. <laughs> Oh, right, OK, we've got to go on, because we've oh, only got Jane yes. for, the whole, for the hour this time, and normally we can chat and mess around, but we've only got an hour today. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you today is something that is brand spanking new. It's an exclusive everywhere in the world. Nobody yes. else has seen it, nobody nope. else has got it. Nope. Um, now, don't be confused by the picture, because the picture looks a little bit blue. It's not in blue. It's in the lovely, lovely uh, linen here. But it's called the Special Linen Collection P Pastel Posy Trio. It's a counted cross-stitch project including decorative envelope, box pin cushion and scissor chatelaine. But you do get the scissors in it as well. For £29.99 you get everything in it. So, here. actually, shall I open this and show do, you what we get do, inside? Do, okay. please do. Now, these envelopes are using the... Oh, elephant spit. Elephant spit to keep them together. Right, so inside, for your $29.99, you do get the scissors. You do get the most gore. Oh, now. All the li oh, yes, all the different linens. Yes, for the it's yes. all the same linen, but all for the yes. different projects. Then you've got that feels like silk, Shantun yes. silk. Yes. yes. Then you've got some more silk. Then you've got um, a button, two buttons yes. and a loop. Yes. And now that needle there... Is that a proper needle or is that a, a cross-stitch needle in there? Pass. I'll have to that's a sharp needle in there. So that's it, for making up purposes. Yeah, that's a making up needle. Then you get all your threads. Now, they're all numbered. Or they're all not numbered. They're listed. Yes, they're numbered as well on the yes, back there. Yes. There's also a phone number if you get stuck. Jane won't answer the phone herself. <laughs> but there's all of that. And then here in the instructions, you get tw oh, 28 count linen, scissors, Colour and symbol charts, pre-sorted threads, lining fabric, stitching and making up instructions. So these are all the instructions here. They're there how to are. do the stitches. How to make it up. There's your chart. One of them. One of your charts. Oh, quarter and of the stock's gone already. Quarter of the stock's just flown out this like is, that. Well, this, this is absolutely brand spanking new. Birthday treat for sewing quarter. 
So, Thanks, sorry, street, 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 street. <laughs> Don't worry, I still we do were, it. We were all in the same place once before, yes, weren't exactly, we? Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, so tell yes. me about tell me about it. Tell well, me about well, it's it's this little. I love this pocket. Um, I like making them. Some of you know by now that I, if I, if I, if it stands still long enough, it gets a hem round it. <laughs> you know, these, these are such fun to do. So basically, you're going to work a square that's going to be hem. So my, the back of mine is blank. Right. Now, if you wanted to personalise that, obviously you've got op opportunities to put initials or whatever, whatever. And so you work it as a flat piece. I teach you in the in the pack how to make this folded hem. And in a minute, I'm going to show you the most important aspect of that oh, okay. on a piece of stuff. Yeah, lovely. OK. Then it's joined together here and here with a herringbone stitch, and it's lined, uh -huh. and then you can close it. So that's the little pocket. This is the box pin cushion. That's beautiful. It's very sweet, isn't it? Yeah, I was it's pleased really with that. lovely. It, it's funny, because looking at it on the chart, it doesn't look as full. Because once it's folded and you've got all the detail, of so course. that's worked worked in one piece and folded. OK, we're just coming in closer on that for you. Sorry, oh, hang on, There you go. Yeah, there we are, look. Perfect. Just shows the sides. Just tip it up to the seat, show the sides. And there's the scissors as yeah. well, so you can see. Lovely. So and then that are. little scissor, is that a little, little scissor keeper? Yes, a there? little keep to put in there. Now, you could leave the, if you've got, these are actually quite big scissors. They're larger than I thought we were going to have. Oh, OK. Which, they are these. I do know they're right. Yeah. But I would actually leave a hole at the bottom for them to sit in properly, oh, if I'd okay. know. Yes, 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 yeah. But there you are. That's the, now, this extra stitch on here, if you can just see that. Yeah, yeah. Just put um, it to your right a little bit. There, there you go. You are. So that's bullion knots there. They're optional. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. Yeah. You could fill the flower centres with... Um, French knots or whatever. And then these are twisted cords. You make these yourself. But the cord's in there. If the, the, no, the you make thread, them with the thread. The thread is yes, in there to yeah, make the, the cord, sorry. That, and these have got the little bullion knots on as well. Isn't it pretty? I was ever so pleased with it. June says, oh, bless you, Jane. Our birthday week wouldn't be the same without you. Hot Thank bath you. when you get home. Oh, I know. Oh, actually, um, someone suggested that last night and we have a very large, very deep bath. And I have enough difficulty getting out of it oh. without the sore neck. <laughs> I had visions of Bill having to get the fire service. Oh, no. So I'm going in hot showers where I can walk out safely. Yes. Oh, and the message across the bottom. Morning, all. Poor Jane. Hi. I, too, had a chain store on a stick. My son took it off me. Can't think why. I fear <laughs> your pain from Eileen in Merseyside. Bless your heart. Oh. I, what I don't understand is the pain's moving. Now, that usually means you're batty, doesn't it? Oh, no! <laughs> it started this side, and now it's this side. And today, when we drove up, um, we come up through the Cotswolds, and it's all up and down and around. Oh. And I was sitting in a car like this, holding Oh, my no, and I bet he was speeding like a little boy he, racer. He was trying he to be good. Oh, OK. He was, he's here, actually, lurking. Yeah. Did you have your heated seat on? Well, that wouldn't matter, because it's yes, up here, isn't it? Yes, I did, know. and a hot water bottle behind me. Oh, <laughs> But I, I wasn't certain yet yesterday morning I was going to make it. Oh. And I was very, very fed up with that. So oh, no. I do like to come. Oh, anyway. no, but thank you for coming in. Anyway, anyway I need on. to tell you that more than half the stock of these special linen collections have oh, gone. Is that good. right, Hannah? Well, there it, it is. Nice. Twenty nine ninety nine. So if you think about everything you're getting in there for twenty nine ninety, you're getting the lil, uh, the, lil, the linen, yeah. the silk, the scissors, the thread, the chart, the, the coloured layout pattern, everything you, well, everything you need, basically. Yes. Everything you need there. The only thing you haven't got in there is a gold needle. The only thing you need is your, is your, in your cross stitch. You, you should needle. have a needle in there, a loose one. Oh, is there? The well, yes, it won't be a gold one, but there should be a loose one there somewhere. Okay, okay. But I'll certainly make sure there is a loose one. Yes, perfect, 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 All right. perfect. Lovely. So I, I'm pleased with it. It worked very well. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that, but more than half that stock's gone already. Oh, message on the bottom. Oh, yes. Morning, Jane and John, my two favourite people. It's my birthday today and I've Happy retired birthday. from Mary Lynn. Oh, Happy thank birthday. you, Mary Lynn. Well done. Thank you. Right, now I'm moving on to... Ah. This is beautiful. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm just showing you both of these because obviously one comes on linen and one... On Ada. ...comes yes. on Ada. Are they both the same colour? Right, the Ada is white. Oh, and the linen's white as well. It's all white. It's all white. Wait. So this is Ada here. Finish. Are we doing Ada first? 
Yep. This is age. I'll get if you've not known, don't know the difference. I'll get Jane to explain it oh, to you in a second. Thank you. But it's called the Traveller Stitching Project. It's ten by five inches once it's folded up. This pretty folded pocket was designed by Jane Greenoff and inspired by her traveller's trunk, featured in the Guild ma uh, Members Magazine earlier in 2020. Worked in cross stitch on 28 linen or 14 ADA. The design is counted from a chart and then lined up and mined by hand. You get a colour chart with symbols, a black and white chart, linen or ADA, wrap needle, pre-sorted threads, lining and full colour instructions. Look at it for real. It's so, so beautiful. So if I show you. Oh, it needs, oh, there you go. That's it. So you've got this, so the box we talked about was done for Gill members as a project um, back away. And can you just we, move it to your right a little bit? Sorry, Jane. Yep, there, there, there you go, perfect. So if I just turn that over so you can yeah. see, it's one of these things that you have to look at it. When you look at the chart, you'll think I've got some of it upside down. Yes. But obviously when you fold it, it's right. Oh, of course, yes. yes. So it's done on one piece and then it's folded done on one into piece. three. That's yeah. right. And then this is linen band that we have made out in Germany by a Valpol and Highland Beck, and then there's a button to part. To okay, so that one that I've got, the one I've got, the ad graphics at the moment are for the ADA. We've also got it in the linen. Yes. Now, it comes out the same size. It comes out the it? same size. Now, if you feel the two fabrics, you'd find that the ADA, uh, it's, it's actually after the opera, but we all call it ADA. Yeah. Um, it feels quite stiff. Um, and you might think your pocket's going to be, but that's a, all about the amount of dressing that goes in the ADA when they make it. Um, it. There's quite a lot of starch goes in, and it will soften dramatically yes. as you as use it, it, and also as you wash it if oh, you yes, have to. Yes, yes, yes. So it will come out the same size. It won't look any childish or strange or anything like that. It's simply that you can count the squares more easily. Right. So if you wanted to do this and you hadn't counted from a chart before, you would work it on the on the squared fabric, the Ada fabric, uh, for ease. Um, I learned to stitch on linen, not knowing there was anything else. Right. So that's always my personal choice, but it's very much up to you. There's nothing worse than struggling to see. Right, no, no, it's exactly. It's a complete waste of time. It causes anxiety, it makes your eyes hurt, your head hurt, it's, it's wrong. The important thing is that you can get the project finished. I mustn't move my head like that. Oh, you're right. I, I, yep, Do you want I'm a fine. chair? Or no, anything? thank you. you sure? No, right, no, okay. absolutely not. All I hope is that I don't use any language unsuitable for a lady. Well, I did say, I did say, if she's taking her, her painkillers, anything could come out that mouth. Uh, so now, twenty-eight can linen then is the same size as fourteen can eight. So, so your stitches will be the same size. Yes, and because the on linen will be the you work size. over two threads, yeah, and on AD you work over one box. Oh, right. Sue says, Jane, you really are of a generation made of strong stuff. Take care and hope you feel better soon. Thank you. It's Sorry improving. To see, huh? It is improving, I think. Sorry to see Jane looking so poorly. Try emu balm. It's amazing. I've never heard of emu balm before. <coughs> That's from right. Kate. Okay, thank and you. June says, hot water bottle or heat pad will help, but you might need something from the GP. Mm. Mm, well, can you see him? You have to do it on Zoom, won't you? Yes. Or just go and cut another tree down. It might fix itself. I think codeine and red wine will be fine. And we don't, and we don't, we don't. I didn't, re we I'm don't not recommending that. it. I'm not recommending <laughs> no it. No doctors. Just take me through the patterns on this, on this. Um... Yes, well, this started off that I wanted to do a sailing ship. Right. So obviously we've got the sailing ships and little old ones. These, these Emma, little ones you. down the sides, yeah. they came off an old sampler of mine. Right. So they're very old. And then inside we've got... Well, this is sort of supposed to be something like the Queen Mary, but, you know, a liner. Yes. And then little postage stamps. So it's all done as one, one piece, whole piece. One piece. And then a little aircraft. Uh, and these... you right a little bit more. Sorry to keep these, saying that. That's all right, darling. I should look. The, the <laughs> geese... You can't lift your head, so don't worry. <laughs> the, the little geese actually came to me because I saw a quilt... Uh, done in America once and it was entirely brightly coloured but with the three geese and I just thought I should put that in the sky. Oh. So it'd make a nice sewing project and in fact um, this is just an aside really that when we did the box w way back since then there is a set of um, little pin cushions and needle books and odds and ends um, that go with this so you okay. could always get that at a later date yes, if you wanted of course. to. Oh, um, yeah. So you get all the threads. The yes. Oh, that's lovely. What say that? Where that? Where's that ribbon from? Is this that... is this is from Valpol and Heilenbeck. Uh -huh. They're in Wuppertal in Germany, and that is actually woven that wide. Right. 
and it's fabulous. I love it. Um, and you just stitch that on afterwards. Just stitch it on afterwards. And the pattern shows you where it goes on the yeah, chart yeah. quite clearly. <clears throat> oh, that's beautiful. So whether you Is go for fun? so we've got the graphics in for the linen at the moment, but it also comes in Ada. And they'll be the same price. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. There's only six of the linen ones left. Just so you know. And they're the same price, aren't they, Hannah? Yes. Yeah. So same yeah. price, same size. It's really about what you can comfortably see. Well, yes, yes. And as um, you said, you start on linen because you didn't know there didn't was know. any choice. I didn't know. If, oh, there's only nine of the Ada one left as well now. So if it was somebody doing their first... Pro I'd do it on Ada. Do it on the Ada because you're I, counting I, the, yes, the holes. I, 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 if, you, if you're tackling something this size, if you're doing something very small, I, I don't think it matters what you, what you start with. This is quite a lot of stitching. And I don't want anyone to struggle. The idea is that this is supposed to be fun. Yes. You know, it's, it's a hobby. It's yes. fun. It makes you smile. It doesn't make you cross and tetchy and throw it on the floor and stamp on it. <laughs> so, um, yes. June says, Jane is the epitome of carry on and keep stitching. <laughs> Lowe says Tiger Balm is brilliant. Oh, right. Thank you. We'll Message go to from Joe across the bottom. Go, go to a chemist on the way home. Yes. Happy birthday, gang. I've stitched autumn leaves. Could Jane advise oh, yes. what to mount it on to display? I can't get the wrinkles out. Thanks, love, from Johan in Lancashire. Right, Johan in Lancashire. You need to put it on the ironing board with four layers of bath towel. You put it face down. Hang on, is the bath towel underneath or on top? Right, start again. Yeah. Ironing board. Yeah. Four layers of bath towel. Oh, Okay. Stitching wrong side up. So stitching downwards. Stitching downwards. Yeah. Steam iron, hot, lots of water, blast it. Oh, so you're actually pressing the actual Stitching work, the back on of the, the back, yeah. right? When you've done that, leave it to dry. And then um, if you look on the Cross Stitch Girl website, um, there's free viewing of things and there's how to stretch and mount needlework. Have a look at that. I've never not been able to get a crease out okay ever and then how would you mount it what was it all well leaves? well it was a pic it was a picture in a frame right originally um if you can get the frame um there's an establishment can i mention names yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yes i, I yeah, think we, we don't sell them so it's oh right the frame came from range and it'll come with a piece of board inside oh so not not expensive oh, no 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 not, not necessarily yeah. expensive uh, and then just have a look at how to do it. I could do the whole program on mounting and framing. OK, well, maybe. So one day, one day yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank yes, you. So and thank you for your questions. Iron it properly in. first. Hmm? Iron it properly first. Iron properly first. And um, why four towels? Just to, I'm making it clear. I want that thick. Right. Not just covering it with an old, you know, with I have a white towel. bath towel that lives in my scullery. My children tease me unmercifully for calling it a scullery. Uh, in a cupboard. Hannah says, what's a scullery? I rest my case. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Next. Right. OK, next. <laughs> now, we're moving on to... Now, these are oh. two yes. projects that are identical, but in different sizes, yes. aren't they? So let Which me... size do you want to do first, Hannah? Dublin, yeah, Dublin 27. Right. Dublin 27. Okay. So... Right, everybody. Th to explain then, the the Dublin is the name, the trade name of this material, which is twenty five stroke twenty six threads to the inch. So, and it's quite a loose weave. Right. Um, it's commonly used for things like um, pulled and drawn thread work, because if you're pulling threads out, it will do it very easily. The disadvantage is, and it's only a small one is that when you're making these rather clever hems around the edge of the pages, yeah. you need to do that and join them together at the same time. Because, so what I mean is, you'd hem this yeah. all the way around the two pieces, and then you would fold it and join them. Oh, I see, so you've, you've stitched that one, you've stitched, stitched that, that one, one, you've hemmed them both. And then you join them. And then you put them together and join them. What you them. don't do is put them on the four layers of bath towel with a steam iron, because you can remove the hem. Oh, I see. I'm just a tip. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is very so. What this is to explain. So this is the Dublin. Yes. Which will be what the graphics are for. Yeah. These patterns are all taken from samplers at the Ackworth School, uh, which is a Quaker school started in the 1700s. Uh huh. It's up in Pontefract, 
Yeah. And they have a famous, world famous collection of these medallion samplers. Right. And the Cross Stitch Guild has permission to reproduce oh. any of these samplers. Right. So and the so one that we've got in the graphics at the moment is the one you're touching because they're this different one. sizes. So that's uh, the... This is uh, to explain that's about the thread count. That's 27 count. So this is, yes, or is it 25 or is it 26? It depends who you ask. Oh, okay. So the answer to that is you put a ruler on the fabric. Yeah. And you it's very noisy in the room next door. I do apologise. I, I, I can only imagine my husband's responsible. Oh, he? yes, he it usually will be, is. Course, yeah. Right, sorry, so, so 25, yes. 26 or 27? Whatever. It, it's, it's a loose weave fabric. And so the stitching is bigger than when you stitch it on a 32 right, count. Right, and then we've got the, but we've got the 32 count one exactly. here. We wanted to make it in the smaller. So this is the 32 count one here. So this is eyesight. It's just eyesight. The, the product is the same. Right, so but the last one's called, is that a reason why one's called Dublin and one's called Belfast? That's the name of the, the fabrics being given by Zweigart and Zewitzki. Belfast is 32 count. Right. Dublin is 25 stroke six. six yeah. Um, Edinburgh is 36, Newcastle is 40. Oh, so just gave the different sizes now. Cashel is 28, which we've talked about yeah, already, yeah. and Cork is 20. Oh, okay. So they've given names to their fabrics that relate to places from whence linen came, actually. Right. Yes, so of they're course. All made of in course, Germany. yes. So this one here is the 32 count Belfast one. So this is going to be, so, the, so basically it's going to be smaller. It's, it's finer to see. Yeah. It's no finer though, remember, than if you were doing this on a 16 count Ada, it will be the same. Right. Does that make good sense yes, to you yes, all? Yes, yes, definitely. So on linen we work over two threads. On Ada you work over one box. Yeah. If that explains it. So this is smaller simply because the fabric is a different count. It's like an Aran jumper versus a two ply. Right. Oh yes. Try and of think course, of yeah. it like that. Pam Mini Honey says, "Poor old Jane. I often <laughs> suffer with neck pain. Gentle movements will help. Rolling shoulders backwards and forwards, slowly, chin to chest and back again. Ooh. Then ear to shoulder. One side. Don't try this now. I'm not one doing side, it. Then the I'm other. not doing it. A wheat sack, but not too hot." And I like your idea of the glass of red wine. Very <laughs> uh, says, I agree with Lowe. Tiger Balm is great. And unlike deep heat, the cats don't mind the smell. Judy, oh, no, she's on the bottom and I'll come back to that. Good morning, both. Jo Jane, you are a trooper. Tiger Balm and a hair dryer will help. She's saying your hair looks a mess. Uh, it uh, really helps. It's lovely to see you I'm two together surprised. again. Love from Julie. It's lovely to be together again, isn't it? It's smashing. It's smashing. smashing. But smashing. we just need hairdressers. Yes, both of us. Um, I always take my cross stitch patterns to the to the f oh, hang on. I always take cross stitch patterns to the frame in centre to get it framed. Right. Oh, you can do that though. Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. And then June says, "Good morning, John and Jane. The kit reminds me of a globe trotting days. Oh, that's the um, oh, yes, this one, the ship one. Yeah, exactly. So this, how are we doing on this one then, Hannah? Oh, hang on. No, no. I was talking about this one here that we got in stock. But I can go back to the ship. Go back to the ship. Ship on Ada, three left. Ship on Ada, there are three left. That's that one. That's the ship on Ada. That's three of those left. And the one on linen, I'm not surprised. It's absolutely it's glorious. It's pretty, isn't it? This. It did work well. Did oh, work there are well. seven of the linen ones left. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to a shaky trio. <laughs> oh, shaker, shaker trio, not shaky. Shaker, shaker trio. Silly old Billy. So what's this then? Let's have a look. Oh, you get scissors in here. You get now your thread's not on cardboards on this one. No, You've been a bit lazy do, that afternoon. I think what what happens is when we find that the um, threads are easy to sort, which these are. Yes. Yeah. Um, they're in loose, which saves money. Oh, and the also are, it means that you've only got, like you were saying, if you've got three greens, yes, how yes, do you know which green yes, it is if exactly. you haven't sorted but it But this is, this is very straightforward to okay. sort. There is a thread card in there, so you've got somewhere to put your threads when you've sorted them, yeah. but they're easy to do. Oh, but that, that's what keeps the price down then, because well, if yes, you'd have if you, to do that, you'd have to Those pre-sorted ones, someone has sat there and done that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like to think how many Bill has sat and sorted. Oh, did you, did you make him do them? It, it, not now, but oh. we, for many, many years. Has he put his foot down now? No, he? no, it's gone to where it's up in Warrington. Oh, of course, it's not you. So when no. you ran the cross stitch guild, yes, then Bill he, would do it. Now it's um. It was his Andrea. way of getting permission to watch cricket all day. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh 
But you see, every time you make a joke about Bill, your neck goes. That's what it is. <gasps> Maybe put, it's Bill. Put a hex on me. Yes. Anyway, this is uh, this started. This little project started because we went to visit um, the Hancock Village in um, New England. Right. On our um, when Bill retired, I think we went to that part of America, and Bill had obviously known about this amazing Shaker village, and the Shakers were unusual. I think you could safely say, uh -huh. and they became known as Shakers because of the slightly erratic dancing they did when they were feeling the message from the Lord, etc. Oh, okay. So they, I can't do it. Uh, no, don't do it today. Um, uh, aren't Shakers, aren't they in posh designer shops where you get uh, shaker, shaker shoes. pegs to hang your bag yes, up? Yes, uh, they won't be Shaker unless they're a lot of money. But Shaker furniture, the, lots of you know the Shaker boxes, there's lovely oval boxes with the turned... Tops, oh, yes, you know, yes, yes, with yes, the yes, buttons yes. on yeah. the side. Anyway, so this came just because I'd seen a pattern when we were there that I liked a lot. And the houses are often painted this lovely dark red. Uh, the Shakers lived in separate on enclaves, so the men and women didn't get together. And, of course, there was no form of uh, multiplication allowed, <laughs> which is <laughs> why nice it's it. why the Shaker didn't last. Oh! But surely, you, when they were married, surely you were no, to... No, 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 none of that, none of that messy stuff. Oh, Hannah and I live Quaker lifestyles, <laughs> then, don't we? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, no, you had to be... So sick. that's why the whole thing died out, because they weren't making any children. They weren't making any babies. Oh. Well, officially they weren't. No, no, well, that's, that's somewhere along the line they must have done. But, so but they yes. just had to find new people to join their yes. clan, as it were. Yes. Well, you learn but the furniture day, and the, the style of the furniture and the simpleness of it has been, it's very, you know, it is, and I mean, you'll see signs for a shaker kitchen. Yes, yes. Uh, and the style's very clean and, yeah. and very solid looking. And shaker chairs, real shaker chairs, fix fantastic oh, amounts yes. of money. So Hannah's bright orange futon, she couldn't it, be not, a not, no. not shaker. No, not no, shaker. No, not shaker, sadly. Shaker, not stirred, that's what our <laughs> Hannah is. Um, right, oh, uh, Pam says, don't force any movement, stop if there's any pain, the exercise gets easier. Susie says, I totally sympathise, Jane, I'm in agony this week with back pain too. Heat pads, tar tiger balm, yoga and gritted teeth are getting me through it. Oh, don't make <laughs> Susie's in tomorrow morning. Is it tomorrow she's in with me? Um, anyway, I think this is gorgeous. Just take me through that. So you've got the little um, scissor keeper with yes. the house on. Yes, it's on this little board because it was on a wall at a show and I've yes. left it on. Um, and then you've got a little padded pin cushion yeah. and the dreaded what bow. I know, but they're, they're tiny, aren't yes, they? They're, they're lovely. Little. And of course they go, and these are fiendishly sharp. Don't kid yourself about the scissors. Yeah. Although they look like toy ones, they are not. No, they're nicely wrapped inside there. So what you get in here is you no. get... 28 inch count linen uh, to make the pin cushion, the scissor pocket, and the wat bow. Linen threads, buttons, needles, chart, lining, tiny gold plated scissors, and instructions. So you're getting an awful lot there for your $16.99. Totally. Isn't it fun? Yep. Yeah. And nice little hearts. Beautiful, like isn't it? I like it very much. And again, do you get the thread to make the cord yes, for the scissors? Yes. And, uh, and how to make the cord. Yes, how to make the cord. The, the trick with the twi twisted cord is you get your long length and you fold it in half and knot it. Yeah. And you get John Me. Like, Over to here. hold the knotted end. And I would have this end, which would be the loop, and I yeah. put a pencil in it and turn it. La, 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 la. Now, I've actually got a hand drill at home. I was going to say, you can also buy on the long... I don't know if we sell them here, but we can buy them on the long you, river. You can, you can buy, buy the little... Yes. Yeah. And then when you walk together, they... they yeah, da -da -da. yeah when i made my friend dawn's wedding dress um i paid a fortune for this like kind of cord to be stitched around the stomacher of the wedding dress yes. and when i went to collect it i saw the lady making it and i was like i could have done that and i've paid a fortune for a meter of those oh, like kind of the colors of the wedding, wedding dress, dress. the pink the gold and the cream and everything wow but i could have done that well, you live and learn don't you right shall we move on to a book then yes why don't we which one are we going to go to first hannah the New Cross Stitchers Bible by Jane Greenoff, new and revised. Now, it was actually published in 2007. Right. The original was published in 2000. Right. So this is the new to the original. Right. Um, this is a reprint again. Right. And the original, I found it a very, very difficult book to do. Once you call something a Bible, 
you're exposing yourself. You're sticking yourself above the wall to oh, get yes. shot at. And, I could, and actually, I had a big fight with the publishers because in the original book, um, all the stitches were put separately in the index. And I had letters from people that said, how can you call it the Cross Stitches Bible? It hasn't even got a French knot in it. Oh. Well, it had. Oh. But the index was wrong. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Anyway, another story. Yeah. So this, this really was started so that you could... Um, go, I'm just turning pages very quickly for something in particular. Right. So this was printed, the idea being to show you from the beginning, for instance, here, this pattern is worked on Ada, and this one is worked on linen, and they're exactly the same size. Right. It's that sort of thing that you don't know when you haven't tried any of this before. We've just been talking about it. So things, uh, it explains to you from the basics, um, what is a chart, how you work from a chart, how you start and how you stop. But then it goes on at the back of the book. You've got hard hanger embroidery. Uh, you've got pull thread embroidery. Um, how to make folded hems, I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. Um, and then at the very back, you've got a, all the charts look for lots of projects. And then you've got the stitch library. And this is our wonderful Ethan. I've mentioned him oh, a yes, of yes, times. Yes. Where he's not he, still working on the Grey's Anatomy. No, he? he's not working on the Grey's Anatomy. He was in the middle of the pancreas last time we spoke. Oh, okay. But no, it's, he's, he's not working. Not a real there. one. Not a real one. No, no, he's no. a graphic drawing designer. It. Drawing, drawing it. Yeah. He's redrawn Grey's Anatomy twice, <gasps> which I think is eccentric. Did he get it wrong you? the first time? Uh, no, I think it was just <laughs> they found out more. Of course, <laughs> yes. So, so tell me, in this book, there's everything I need to know about cross-stitch. Yes, it's not just cross-stitch. The reason we called it this is in America, cross-stitch refers to anything that's counted. Right. Rather than printed on the fabric. So um, all the different skills, all the different techniques you can learn when you're counting cross-stitch um, and all these different stitches are all covered by the same umbrella, if you like. And are there projects in here yes, as well? Yes, lots of projects. And there are all the, all the charts for them as well. Now, I've just noticed when you're flicking your pages that the pages change colour on the edges. Are they this the was, different chapters? Yes, this was about, um, if I sh show you here, wait, let's go back to the blue one. Getting started is blue. Yeah. Creative options, so learning. I did this picture. You might think, what's she done that for? What have you done that for, Jane? Well, I did that yeah, because... Says, what have you done that for, for I've done that because when you're in inexperienced... And you wander into an embroidery shop where everyone seems to know a lot. Yeah. You don't know what you're looking for. You don't know how to recognise it when you see it. No. Some threads are on bobbins, yeah. aren't they? Some are in hanks or skeins. Yeah. So this was to show how they might be presented. I hate that. It's like when you first go to art school, you have to go shopping for card to paint on. Or yes. And, and you walk in and you think, I, a I don't know. I, yes. You know, what paintbrush I, do I buy? I know, I, I know. So. I remember years and years ago, um, when Needlecraft magazine first started, we, I don't know what year that was, but it was... <laughs> um, I was actually demonstrating up in Liberty in Regent Street, and a lady came up to me. She was terribly, terribly smart and spoke beautifully. And she came up and she said, can I show you something? I said, of course you can. And she went, is this right? Oh. I said, yes. And she went, right. Now, she would not have gone into a needle workshop to buy a little kit. But she had, there was a kit on the front of the magazine, and she'd picked that up in her grocery store, probably Fortnum's. Yeah. Oh, and yes. it had the little kit on the front, so she could secretly do it oh. without being embarrassed. I get, yes. And then she came back with armfuls. Of course. So, so the business of learning, um, sometimes it's a bit awe-inspiring, isn't it, if you're not sure? Oh, no, totally. It doesn't matter. I said about being a student, but any time of life, if you go into something new... And you go to the garage and they blind you with science. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no. so, right, another story. Right, OK, so that's the new Cross Stitchers Bible. And they're all signed oh, today yes. by herself. And not by Bill. And not by Bill. He was, he was shuffling around in the corner earlier because we're all doing social distancing. So I went round to make sure he wasn't doing them, but he was, oh no, he's doing a crossword. Yeah, absolutely. Not doing a crossword, I'll look to us. Right, so that, now before we go on to the next book, you've got some 
the square butterfly oh, yes. there, I brought which these. we haven't got the kits of here, but they're still available on our website. Yes, we had them very recently, less than 10 days ago. Whoops, oh. right way around. Yeah. So these are just little box pin cushions. They were on my desk this morning as I collected stuff, and I thought, oh, I'll put them in. Um, blue one first, please, Jane. Holly blue. There you go. He needs a punch to make him sit straight. Oh, pfft. That was done with some aggression, wasn't it? Yeah. So this is nine ninety nine. So what would they get in the kit for nine ninety nine? So they get the f the linen, um, the threads, the needle, the chart, the instructions to stitch and to make up. And they're gorgeous. That's nine ninety nine. So maybe the first, maybe today's your first time. You're thinking, do you know what? I want to give that a go. Uh, these, this is a perfect first project on linen. For perfect. There's n not an enormous number of colour changes. There isn't too much backstitch, so it's a really good first first go. And you make it, I presume, all in one and then fold it and it's, stitch it? It's all in one except the base. Right. So you make uh, something square with two little strips. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you That's make a square with four strips thank round you. it. You stitch down the two short ones and then you sew the bottom on And then you put them it. on the bottom. And interestingly, um, I didn't do these. I didn't stuff these. They were done for me. Lately, I've been putting dry rice in mine right? because they make such nice weights. Oh, okay. I put a loop on as well, so my scissors are not on the floor because they sit on the arm of the chair. So, And they also sit beautifully if they're in rice. Okay. You know, these are rather bouncy. Yes. I mean, bouncy's not wrong. No, 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 but rice is heavier. But the rice is, gives it okay. a bit of... Oomph. So that's the blue one. Which one next then, Hannah? Mm -hmm. With the ants on it. Oh, the one with the three section body. The one with the three, like the head, the tummy and the bottom. That one. That one. Painted Lady, I think. Yeah, Painted Lady. Painted Lady, Lady yeah. there she is. Now, that was exclusive to Sewing Street until the 1st of March. We've gone past the 1st of March now, so I don't know what happened there. We just might need to change those graphics. And again, this is exactly the same thing, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Same, same. Oh, there's only two left. There's only two left. Oh. Cute, isn't it? It's lovely. They're sweet, aren't they? Yeah. As I said, that's a bit more than an evening stitching, right? But not much more. Oh, okay. But if you knew, don't think. Oh, Jane said I had to make it in the evening. Oh no, no, just no. Take no. your just, time and enjoy. Come on, it. I'm silly. You know, I'm in my office if I can manage to be. You know, it's a question of if Bill's got tickets for somewhere. Well, not now because you can't go anywhere. No. I have oh, to skulk good. upstairs. I do a lot of skulking. Oh. Do you know? Do you want to tell you so you can be in the same room as him, or do you need to be <laughs> quiet? I, I got I. I I'm not a fan of the television. Right. I say that with apologies to everybody who loves it. That's right, it. everyone who's sitting there watching us now. Exactly, I do apologise. Uh, I don't mind the occasional whodunit. I'm not good at television. Okay. And uh, so I would much rather go upstairs and play in my office and have a story. Yeah. You know, but he'll sit and watch his cricket for hours but on end then. If, but if, he, you know, if, he, if he's got cricket, he'd love it. I mean, it, you know, we retired together to stop working. Yeah. Um, I don't seem to have stopped. <laughs> it's a bit unfair, really. But that's your hobby. It's your hobby. It's difficult to stop. Yeah, and it's paying for his weekend roast, isn't it? Things like uh, that. Absolutely. Yeah, running Point his made. car. His tickets running for, his car. Yeah, tickets for the cricket when he's allowed to go. And this is the last one of those pink cushions, if there's any left, and this is the peacock. Okay, now we've got this one in Ada and in Lynn in this right. last one. Good. Otherwise, they've all gone. So the graphics are Ada ones in at the moment. So if you want to make that on Ada. So if it's your first project and you want to try something new yes. and it's slightly easier, we think, then yeah. do the Ada one. This is the one you want. It'll look identical to if you do it in linen. It'd be sweet. And I think it's really nice, you know, to make something you're going to use in your hobby. Yes, exactly. It or if not you, part, as a gift, on, a lovely yeah, little gift that on. is. Mm. So there's the, this is now the one in uh, linen now. Nine ninety nine. I've got which? Oh, got a whisker. What have I done? Sea creatures. Oh, there, there, in the frame, in the frame, in the frame. That so that's for set. We got that in stock still as well. Okay, Jane, just pull that this to the middle the... for you. That one they've got. Oh, be I'm carefully going, stretched. I, no, no, I'm going to take it. Now it's on linen. Oh, that's so cute. So this is the shoreline sampler. So this is those of you who like me love beach combing. Yeah. Um, if I twist You live it. nowhere near the beach, though. I used to, though. Oh. I married that man, and he took me away. Oh, <gasps> no. Yes. But you've only been together for how long? 
43 years yesterday. Oh, I think yesterday was your anniversary yesterday. Oh. And I was, I was like this. <laughs> don't, don't come near <laughs> don't me. Come, don't touch me. <laughs> yes, it was most unfortunate. Yes, so this was just all those seaside things. I made the alphabet up. I was playing with my cross-stitch designer programme, which I think is probably still on the website. Oh, yes, yeah, a couple uh, of those left. Yeah. Yes, well, I was playing with it and I came up with this alphabet because you can convert writing. So you can pick a font from your word processing programme yeah. and you can write something and it'll turn it into cross-stitch. Now, sometimes it's very successful, sometimes it's hysterical, frankly, oh, it just depending on the, the font. Yeah. So this is what I made up. Oh, um, OK. And it was it's sweet, it's just different. So modern, really, not traditional. Yes. And uh, I know we won't see a seahorse on our coastline, but I do love them. Well, we're not. Are they I not? Don't, I don't think we get them here, do we? Oh, do we not? I don't know. No, we don't. That's be them hot. So I think that's be hot. Them. So what do we get? Hang on. What do we get now? Twenty one ninety nine. The pre sorted threads. Right. Uh, linen or Ada. Yeah. Have we got, now we've got them both, or we just got it? In, we've only got it in linen. Now. Right. So there's only linen, linen left. Right. Um, so it yes, it's nice. And the chart you don't get the frame with it. No. Uh, Twenty one pounds and ninety nine pence. That's a the gorgeous came, one, isn't it? Frame came from Range. Okay, thank Again. you. Again, <laughs> that's the second plug. Range. Sorry, today. sorry. Right, right. A message on the bottom. Did you say? Oh, hang on. The computer's gone a bit weird. Here we go. I love, love, love Jane Greenoff. She started my love for cross stitch, and I've been doing it for at least thirty years. Hope you feel better soon, Jane. Uh, Jane from Kate in Dorset. Kate, well done. You and me too, pet. Thirty Aww. odd years. What it? What's it about, eh? Right. Oh, we got that one. On, I've got. Uh, hang on, we have got this one on Ada as well. Sorry, we have got the the sea the the shoreline on Ada. Um, Julie says, when you think about it, fourteen ninety nine for a lifetime of skill and love, it's incredible. I think she's talking about how you've put so much love into it for fourteen ninety nine. Oh, well, Carol doesn't like backstitch, though. Happy anniversary for yesterday. Thank you. Um, and that's it for now. Oh, and June says, I swear by ibuprofen gel for my back and neck pain. <gasps> oh, and Jackie, sorry, Jackie, feel your pain, Jane. I've had a painful shoulder for a while now. The little things hurt too. Oh, take it's care a, of it, everybody. It right. makes you realise very quickly that it doesn't actually matter about anything if you're not healthy. No. I've got nine bags of compost I was hoping to move this weekend, <laughs> and I won't be. That's what our husband's for. No, 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 no. Message on the bottom. Borada, amazing work, Jane. Can I say you have the most beautiful hands? Oh. Can I just have a word? Can I just say something about nails, right? Yeah. I just walked through it earlier before we came on air. And Jane was sitting at a desk like this, like sorting. And I was like, what's she doing? She's sorting threads. She has a bag of all these different false nails, right? They're not labelled or anything like that. So they're all different sizes, all different colours and everything. And she was just gluing them on, finding the right one and gluing it on. I'm right. a gardener. And I mean, you can, well, actually, I'll be perfectly honest. I have a syndrome. I can tell you I've got a syndrome. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a, his, it's a it, what's it, not historic, sorry. Inherited syndrome. Hairs, nail and teeth. Right. All right. So my hair is what it is. Yeah. Um, Your teeth my, are someone else's. My nails don't, <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> and my nails don't grow. I mean, they do grow, but they, they, they aren't, they aren't any, there's no way. Uh, wow, because mine, within a week, mine will be like talons. No, so no, you don't, you don't no. Like that. And, and they, they break and they split. Now, right. when I first did some telly, and I'm talking many, many moons ago, um, I and big televisions were just coming. You're seeing them, and I envisaged seeing my gardener's hands with no nails right. on a television this that, size. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'm going to have to find out how to avoid this. So, so that's what I do when I'm on telly. You need to get in touch with Lisa Lamb. She's found these incredible because she can't do nails either, and these incredible wrap things that go on your nails. So I'll put the oh. two of you in touch. And what about your teeth, though? I'm intrigued about your teeth. Now. Well, I can tell you that I didn't get it. I only got four second teeth. Oh, this is the same as our family. We, we only you, got one, yeah, yeah, these and you, but yeah. everything else is what we were born, we're not yeah. born with, but what came? I lost my last baby tooth when I was 33. Because <gasps> nothing to push them out. Wow. Funny, isn't it? Now, we're the same in our family. Well, we're there exactly. you are. I knew we had something else in common. Teeth. Right, then, what are you going to show us very quickly? Well, though? I wanted to... <laughs> Let me start again. Right. In the little book, I talked about this folded hem around the edge. 
That's the... Uh, is that the small this one? This is the small one. So that's the, they've both got it. The Belfast. Yeah. They're both the same. They've that's both the Belfast. got that hem. And yeah. round our special, that's got a folded hem as well. Look. Okay, so what we're doing is all the things that have got a folded hem on So them. I'm just showing you one of the things that it will tell you to do is to score the fabric to make it straight. Okay? Right, yeah. And everyone said, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your needle... A, quite a big needle yeah. in the fabric where you want to make the fold. Right, so this will be the finished edge. It, it'll be... Where the fold... One of, the, one of yes. them will be the finished yeah. edge. And then you pull the fabric, not the needle. And you're not breaking anything, are you? You're just, mar you're just marking. You're no, not broken can you any see threads. that? Yeah. Right. Now, if I fold that... Yeah, it's like you scored it. Yeah, exactly, Helen. Look. So it's actually folded exactly on a thread. Right. So what I would do to create a hem would be, if we just borrow that for a minute. The cables are here, by the way, not because I suspect John of theft. <laughs> it's I'm not just that anywhere near you. <laughs> It's, it's because we've had things stolen at shows. And when you've spent months making something, yeah. it's very, very irritating. Um, so what I've done here yeah. is I've snipped one fabric thread and I've unpicked it to the edge to make a little ladder in the fabric. Right. Now, if I can quickly find it in here, which I think I can. I've just seen it. So there, you can see, I'm making a ladder in the middle of the fabric. Right. So in this case, I'm going to make it round, it would go round the edge of my stitching. So I'd unpick to there. Yeah. Then I would, that would be nine threads from where the thread's missing. Right. Then I do, I'm going to just guess, nine again. Obviously, I would count this. Yeah. And notice that I'm pulling the fabric, not the needle. It's crucial. Right. It doesn't work if you do it the other way around. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a thread out here. This is going to be challenging, I suspect, with this great big clumpy needle. That'll do. I want to demonstrate what happens. Because, oh, oh, I'm being magnetic here. Mag magnetic personality again. <coughs> Come on, you brute, that's it. I'll just whip that one out to show you. Now, obviously, it's all a little bit more detailed and carefully done when you're yes, doing it on course, your yeah. beautiful piece of stitching. So, cut on the ladder. Do you ladder it so that you get cutting it in exactly I, I did. In, the, in the point? Yes. Yeah. You don't have to. You can just... Well, no, no, because if you pull that thread out, it's like with fabric, isn't it? You pull yes. that one thread yes, out, but you, you can know see. you're on the straight yes, of the grain. Yes, exactly. So all I'm doing now is finger-pressing that one. Yeah. And then the fold Yeah. will be exactly right. You can see I've got a completely straight edge. Yeah. And how do you then stitch that then? Well, the stitch, it, the hem stitch you use is very simple. Now, latterly, I've been using just one strand. Um, and I will see if I can organise that to show you. While John well, talks worry, to something worry, else. Worry, worry. So you just, you, you, you get yeah. your embroidery thread, you strip it down to just one. One of the, yes. And yeah. I'm going to just find the page here and show you a picture, actually, because time will be a Guinness hem stitch here. Yeah. Uh, Trudy says, will we be having all the butterflies in Ada? We have had them in the past, but I don't know if we'll get them back again. We um, could I could listen to Jane question. for hours, says Claire. And Jane is just so clever. Uh, can I both. say something that Nelly made me fall off my perch this week? Yeah. You know there's the, the, the things you can buy to help you go to sleep? Yeah. The, the, I'm an ac accidental sleep something-something person. That means that people... 
300,000 people have watched my video of To put me them to sleep. To put them to sleep. ASMR, what's that? ASMR, thank you, Hannah. ASMR. Because there's a because I was flicking through YouTube one day and there I was a picture of me. Oh. I thought, oh, oh, shit. Oh, I've got blood sugar, over. sugar, sugar. <laughs> she said shush. Shush. She said, shush. Sugar. Sh sugar. Yeah. Um, and then I investigated, and this is where uh, all my careful videos on how to make folded hems have worked wonders. To send, so, I think it's your soporific voice, that is. But um, <laughs> Hannah says you can make loads of money doing those. Right. There you are. I'm going to put this down in front of you, everybody. Okay. Kaz says, hello, happy anniversary, Jane and Thank Bill. You. Thank you, Jane, for 30 years of happiness you've given me Bless and you got you. me to cross-stitch. That's Kaz, not Bill. Right, <laughs> put, have a quick look at the book. I just thought I'd show you. So if you imagine, there's the ladder I'd made. Yeah. And then this is the stitch you're going to use to hem. Oh, it's like a little blanket stitch. Yes, it's very similar. Very similar. So this is about the fact that once you start stitching with your first butterfly on Aida fabric and then you try something else and then you try um, doing double cross stitch and uh, broker road stitch and bullion knots and then and then and then and it grows and grows and grows and that's what this book's about it's about how to recognize what a chart looks like and how, how to get it so you grow the, with the book grow basically. with the book and Fantastic. then as you gradually progress through the pages there's some fiendish things at the back end this hard anger and black work which we've done before and so fantastic on. right now you stay there as my model because i need to recap now because we've come to the end of the oh. hour need to recap so let's start where we started first thing with this absolutely exclusive no oh, nobody else has seen this nobody else in the world has seen this at all 29.99 it is a special linen collection it is the pastel posy trio you get the linen you get the silk you get the thread you get the scissors you get the needle you get everything you need there there are three different pieces there, £29.99. It's never been seen anywhere else before. And we're down to single figures. So if you want that, please check out your baskets. Does look okay. pretty, doesn't it? Please then we moved on to my, I have to say, my favourite piece of the day. All right, now on Ada, which is 92, that's that one. Oh, there's one. There's only <laughs> one of the Ada ones left now. Okay, there's one not checked out, but eight people have got it in their basket. So the first person to check out their basket will get that one on Ada. But then I've also got it on linen, which is this one. A traveller's stitching project. There are only six in the linen left. Six. And how many of those in baskets? All oh, right, okay. So now the six, the six left, three are in baskets, three are available for, uh, for you to put in your basket. Twenty nine ninety nine. Moving on then. Now, I think there's been a bit of confusion over oh, this one. Right. I'll, I'll just quickly explain. It's exactly the same pattern, exactly the same threads, exactly the same silk, exactly the same chart. Everything is exactly the same. But because they're on different size linen, you get a finished one that is. Um, so the thirty two count. Which is, is the this smaller one. one. Yes. So if you make a thirty two count one, it's exactly the same pattern. But yes. it's the smaller one there. And now you, if you look at the two there, you can see. Yes. This is the one on the 32 count. So that's called Belfast. That's yes. 32 count and that's smaller. So it's slightly finer. Not by much. Yeah. But it is finer. Okay. But then this one here, which is called the Dublin, which is 27 count. That one's slightly bigger. Yes. And you can see that with this demonstration. Yeah. It's just uh, we've had a few messages in going on, a bit confused about. Yes. So it's exactly the same pattern, exactly the same threads, everything. But if you want to make one that's slightly bigger, would you say they're about four inches and six inches or something like that? If I look, do that look, you can see how much bigger they yeah. are. There you go. Lovely. So one is a slightly looser weave, really. Yes. As well. Which one would you say would be easier then, the bigger one? No? Yes, no? I, th I suspect the bigger one. Well, no. I don't agree, actually. I don't know which is. Oh, okay. The bigger is Dublin, the 27. So, as the number gets smaller, the bigger it gets. Yes, that's right. Then, last but not least in the kits, we have the st Stitcher Shaker Trio. Oh, there's only one of those. There's only one of those, and there's too many people got that in their baskets. We've got the book, the New Cross Stitchers Bible, signed by Jane this morning. This morning. <laughs> this will be the last thing we do with Jane. We haven't got with the Hardanger book is is on the is on the website. 
and, and um, Hannah will play it through in the break, but we haven't had time to talk about it, unfortunately. So this is 1499. Yes. So what someone was saying earlier was all the years and all the experience, all of Jane's whole career for 1499. <laughs> oh, Rebecca Reed's taking the tr trolley out. Right, 1499. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Jane, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, get better soon. Thank you. If I could, I'd give you a hug, but I can't. You can't. No. And you'd hit me if I did. See you at the end of March. Uh, oh, the end of March. See you at the end March. of March. Perfect. And don't go anywhere because it's Delphine doing the Tree of Life quilt. Now, the Navy one has sold out. Shh, I'm trying to work here. The Tree of Life has, um, has uh, sold out the Navy Blue, but the two green ones are still available. We'll see you in three minutes from now. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dress making. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dress making has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. We are celebrating Sewing Street's first birthday this week. Celebrate with us every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our website, our YouTube channel, Facebook Live or on the Sewing Street app. Our birthday week is jam-packed with brand new projects, lots of guest designers and amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. Make sure you're watching us live every day to be in with a chance to win one of our daily giveaways. And the fun does not stop there. We are also giving everyone who shops with us a free Sewing Street pin badge to commemorate our first birthday as well as a Sewing Street mug. Remember to join us for all the fun celebrations from Monday the 1st of March right up until Sunday the 7th of March. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Delphine was just saying how gorgeous that the cross-stitch was, but especially the ship one. I like the ship one best as well. Right, 
Before I go any further, remember we have got a competition. Oh, Hannah, we didn't read the name out. Should we do it now? Should we do it now? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Right, okay, let me explain what, what I'm talking about, right? So, every day we have a competition. So, if you bought something yesterday, you could have won an embroidery set. I'll tell you about that in a second. So, if you've bought today, which um, thousands of you have, right, all the names go into a virtual hat. And this time tomorrow, somebody, I'll be re oh, it's me tomorrow, I'm in tomorrow. I'll be reading out the name. Somebody will have won this Tilda Bundle, which has been donated by Groves. Um, it's gorgeous. There's fat quarters in there. There's a design roll. There's fat eights. There's my favourite. My favourite Tilda fabric is that Bubbles fabric. I love it. Uh, there's the animal that we can't decide if it's a rat, a mole, or a mouse. Or What's this, Delphine? Is it a mouse? Rat, mouse? I said rat. I said yeah. rat. No tail. There's no tail. Oh. Mole. There's ribbon. I love this ribbon. There's Tilda ribbon and everything. Oh, you get all of this. You basically, there's patterns, there's other. Oh, there's, there's I haven't shown you these. Look, there's little patterns to make the kitten and the beach bella in there. There's beach bell. There's loads and loads of patterns. There's envelopes. There's all sorts of things in there. So somebody will win that. So this time tomorrow, oh, it looks a bit of a mess. Eh? You don't win that or that. Right, okay. <laughs> Uh, yesterday's winner. Now, yesterday it was embroidery, an embroidery kit. And if your name is Marion Wilding, Marion Wilding, that will be winging its way to you very, very soon. There's all sorts in there. There's embroidery threads, there's glide, there's loads of embroidery stuff in there. I'm surprised there's not a hoop. I thought there might be a hoop in there. Oh, there is, is there? Oh, is there a little pink hoop? Is that one? Anyway, Marion, you get that just for buying now. Marion's name went in, obviously, for yesterday's competition, but her name will also go in, and everybody else's, everybody's name who bought yesterday, every day this week, on Sunday at midnight, all the names of everybody who's bought this week, somebody on Monday, so it'd be Rebecca Reed. somebody on Monday, it'll be announced that they've won a sew an Elna sewing machine, one of those lovely big steam irons, bundles of fabric, and also some designers have brought in gifts to go in. Got books that are no longer in print that Jane's brought in. Uh, Mrs. Macca, Damien Nutt, she's brought in a lovely sewing case and everything like that. Nothing from her new kitchen though. Nothing from her new kitchen. Right, okay. So now, have a look at this, have a look at this quilt. Sadly, not sadly, but the blue one sold out. The blue one has sold out before we even got to the hour. But I've also got it in two different colourways here. I've also got, don't panic, because I've also got the pattern on its own. So if you have a stash of fabric or a colour, the thing is, you can just use tiny, tiny, tiny pieces for uh, the whole of this quilt. So you could just make it of all of your favourite fabrics. Look, look at it. It's a tree of life, which is, um, oh no, Buddha Chi. Buddha Chi in uh, Portuguese, it's Tree of Life. Uh, I've got two different colour bundles here. I'm going to do this one first because I can show you the cushion. This is, if you, uh, if you love the fabric that we showed the other day um, when Wendy Orlando made the quilt. Remember the quilt? Oh, the quilt I had in the first hour today. The, oh, there's a picture of it there. They are the colourways that this one is made of. So I'm not going to open the design roll in here. The first time we've had it in a design role, because obviously Wendy had fat eights, fat quarters, and by the half metre, didn't she, in her bundle. So in this bundle, you get a metre and a half of the white, you get the design role, and you get Delphine's instructions and pattern and everything like that, which I'll go through in a second, for £51.99. Now remember, remember, think, think, right? £9.99. How much are they? They're normally about £49, aren't they? So £45. So it's um, Moda Bilbao Tree of Life Quilt Kit. Instructions, design roll and fabric, £51.99. Now, how are we stockwise on that? How are we stockwise on this one? Right, okay, we're only just starting the hour now, but I've only got 10 of those left. I've only got 10 of those left. Just, I'm only telling you that. I wouldn't normally do that because the blue one sold out before we even came to air. So this one here, which is this colourway, okay? So all of that, £51.99. Now, this one, this is a fabric that I'm launching tomorrow. 
So, and this is the one you're going to see. I'm not going to open it because this is the one you're going to see. Delphine uh, make it up in, right? So you get, again, the design roll. You get, now is that white? No, that's not white. That must be ivory. A metre and a half of the ivory plus the instructions. 53.99. £53.99. £53 half the stock of this one has gone. I think it's because you haven't seen this fabric. We will be seeing this fabric during this hour's demonstration. Right, instructions on their own. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Right, I, I, can I tell, say the first figure? Right, we had over 300 of these, and we're down to 20, less than 20, fewer than 20 now. Now, this is what you see now. If you don't, if, you, if you're thinking, oh, I wanted that navy blue one, I wanted that blue one, is that, is that called navy, that one that we had from there, Hannah? Is it with the blue one? Navy. So, right, okay, so this is how you can do it, right? If you want to create the one, recreate the one that, that Delphine's got hanging behind that we've been showing all morning, you need a metre and a half of the navy fabric. That will do the background and the binding. It doesn't do the back, it, it doesn't do the backing. You need to supply your own backing. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you see the fabric that was used on the front of that? That was Moda Aloha. We have got more pre-cut. So if you love that one and you've missed out on it, is it eight o'clock tomorrow we're doing that? Oh, okay, so it'll be on a pre-order from, uh, from 8 tomorrow morning. They're on the 12 o'clock show. If you just love that one that Delphine's done there, we will have more pre-cuts of that fabric in tomorrow's 12 o'clock show, right? But let me take you through the pattern. But what I was going to say also was if I just went through my, my you know, I've got that big Indian cupboard in the corner of our workroom and everything. It's got so many fabrics, just little bits of so many fabrics. You could create your own version. Imagine doing it in Liberty. Can you imagine if you've got all your Liberty stash, doing the tree and the birds in Liberty, or even William Morris? Imagine. And you're only going to use a little bit of each one, aren't you? So. Oh, and tomorrow at 12, I've just been told, we've got brand new barley pops tomorrow as well. Brand, imagine those batik fabrics doing all this as well. Anyway, look, there's the pattern. There's everything. And you even get all your templates, look. And I suppose it's up to you. Well, Delphine can tell us how many flowers you put on or how many birds you put on. Oh, the, the instructions are about to sell out. The instructions are about to sell out. Oh, oh, okay then. Right, okay. The 30 available, 200 people have got it in their basket now. Oh, Right, okay, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure the management will see and they'll, they'll get some more printed. But not today, not today. Right, I've also got Bondweb. I haven't got it here. I haven't got it. Is it the roll or the packet? Roll of packet, five metres, 30 centimetres wide. There you go. 23.99, five metres by 30 centimetres. It's Bondweb. You're going to, if you do lots of applique projects, it's worth buying that. And remember, keep it in the dark. Keep it cool. And who was it said put it inside the toilet tube? Somebody was on the other day saying put it inside the toilet tube, weren't they? We have got smaller packets on the web as well. If you, but your smaller packet won't do this project. Your smaller packet would definitely not do this project. Okay, and that's going to sell out to a blind me. I hate it when you're watching Shopping Times go, oh, it's so busy, it's so busy. It really is busy. Uh, well, it's over to you, Delphine. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gorgeous. Can I just say, it's absolutely fantastic. And I Thank love you. quilts uh, like this with all the multicolour. Well, multicolour, all the way you're going to do this one. That's going to look like a piece of Wedgwood or Delft, isn't it? It will, this blue? Yes. yeah. It's a lovely colourway. So you're demoing in this brand spanking new Moda fabric. Yes, I Which am. I've got coming up tomorrow. If you uh -huh. like the one that's on the wall, I've also got that fabric, pre-cuts in that fabric coming up The tomorrow. fabrics are beautiful. They're yeah. all, all three of them. It was quite hard to choose which one to, to actually... The so did you open project. all three of your design rolls then? You must have done. I did because I made the cushion uh, out of that one. Out of that one. You've made the, doing the demo out of this yeah. one. You've made that one out of the other one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So so we had the fabric that we've got, the meter and a half. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's enough to make the front, but you know, it doesn't make the backing. No, there's enough to make the front. There's enough to make the binding, and there's a, there, there'll be enough to make a cushion. Right. Well, but not the backing. So okay. I just use the plain backing that I had in my stash. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So where do we start? What do we do? Uh, so the first bit, like you say, I haven't put a pla I, usually in my designs. I always add a placement guide, but I've not added a placement guide in this one simply because it's going to be your choice of where you put put all your pieces. So, but I have given you loads and loads of templates. So, and uh, the tree branches, just, just to point out one of them, because one of them were quite, was quite large. It says join here, and on the other page, just says join there. No need to cut it out. Just when you trace over it with your bond web or whatever, then just join it to the other piece to finish off the branch. Right. That makes sense. Uh, also, uh, if you want some of the birds, as you can see on the quilt, some of the birds are facing one way, some are facing the other way. Yeah. Uh, all you simply do is reverse the pattern by drawing on the opposite side of the bond web, and that simply re reverses the pattern. And the same with the branches. So I've done the branches this way, but you can choose to have them in the other direction. Add more if you want to. Um, I think this is what's so beautiful about this project is that everybody's is going to be completely different. What so, kind of birds are they? I don't know. <laughs> Round, Round little chubby no, birds. They, they, they're saying Australia to me, like a kookaburra or something like that. I don't know why. I'm not very good at my birds. I know a magpie and a blackbird. Okay. Oh, you dove. need to watch on a Monday when we do Bird of the Month. Bird of the Month, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I've uh, just done them so you can uh, add extra little details and stuff if you want to. So, yeah. There we are. It's it's simple. It's a very simple pattern to do and really effective. And you can take it that next step further. I did quite a lot of free motion quilting on mine, as you can see on, um, you know, I've done some swirling yes, and yes, some yes. cycling, but you don't have to do that. Would there be enough fabric of the coloured fabrics, the design roll, mm. to do a scrappy binding? Oh, loads. Oh, because so, I think it'd be really lovely. Yeah. I mean, I do love the clean edge of mm. the blue one, but I just suddenly thought, if you did a scrappy binding made of all, uh -huh. like, and make them all short bits, so yes. it's like lots and lots and lots of different yeah, colours all going lovely. around, that'd be nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd just, uh, I, I, it's, a, it, it's a, not a quick project to No, do. it's not an afternoon it, project, No, is this it? will, this is, um, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's it's an enjoyable Oh, yes, job. yeah, yeah, but the thing but is, sometimes you want something And like, like you that. say, having that time to finish it off properly, like yeah. that, with a scrappy, I think that would look lovely. Yeah. Well, it's not yeah. properly. Well, it's no, a different, but it's a different. I know you've been under pressure to get this finished. Well, so. and sometimes, it, you know, I like the scrappy binding. It, it can really make it pop, but it can also sometimes take the focus away as well. Yeah. So, but no, scrappy binding. Look, looking at the picture there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. What? Right. How yeah. big? How big is it? Do we still go to I have written on the. Thirty-four by forty inches. Yeah. Thirty-four by forty inches. Okay. Okey doke. So starting off with, so back to the pattern, just very very quickly. You've got the base of the tree here at the bottom. Um, so you're going to trace that out. Again, you can do it reverse, but it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Yeah. Uh, and then the other parts of the trunk, you might be thinking, where is it? It's at, Even though it says the tree trunk. So in the instructions, I, I think it's three, two, and one. So these are three different sizes. Can we come a bit closer, Emma? Because I can't see that on my telly. Oh, yeah, there we go. So there here, this is there's three different sizes. So there's... Um, the larger one, the, 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 the medium one, and then the small one. So cutting out these pieces, that's what's going to make that twisty. Uh, oh, trunk. they're not leaves then. They're the twisting of the... That's the of twisting the, of, the, oh, of the trunk. Got it, got yeah. it, got it. But you can use them as leaves. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, side. no, I think they'd be a bit too big, though. When you think that the, the rest of it is so brilliantly in proportion, if you suddenly put a great big leaf on it, it might be a bit... Might look a bit... Yeah. yeah Take the focus, good. as you say. So to make the... Um, What? The trunk. Yeah. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> I couldn't get my words out there. <laughs> so to make the trunk, all you do is cut out your pieces and then it's just individual um, pieces of the uh, strips of fabric. Right. So now did you, so you've traced them off from the pattern onto your bonder web. Yeah. And then you've ironed it onto your fabric. That's exactly that. So right. I just draw it onto the, the, uh, the bonder web. Just a very, very simple drawing. I'll be doing a few more as well with the flowers, and okay. I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, you just trace it on with a biro. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to use any fancy pens or anything. I certainly don't. And, uh, and then you just uh, iron it on. Make sure your iron's not too hot because it can stick or wrinkle. And make sure you press it. Don't iron it because yeah. you can move it around. And then you just cut it out and then put it to one side. And um, yeah, so here's all your, your trunk, the, the, the trunk pieces. So I've cut that out already. But first, to get the trunk base, we need to make the branches. And to do that, we need three long strips of fabric. So I've chosen three. They don't have to match. You can have them so they're uh, different colours. And 
There we are. So I, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to sew these three strips of fabric right sides together. Yeah, I love that top one. I've got this tomorrow morning. This is the new Moda. Oh, oh we just sorry. got the Bonder web in the in the graphics at the moment. But um, where's my foot? There we are. Oh, oh you're right. <laughs> That's right. It was the the mic wire. I got it oh, I thought your knee had gone. <laughs> no. you, we were talking what, this morning noise? of you, you were saying you have to go to, to the doctors about something to do with your yeah. knee, and then I just thought you kind of. No, oh, I'm all good. No yeah. more injuries, thank you. We've got enough ailments in here today. So you don't have to be really, really accurate with this bit of sewing. It's a plique. You can get away with loads of things with a plique. Okay, so um, I want you to we're making the branches. Yeah. Okay. No, you carry on. I like the way you were like. Oh. No, no, I can't. I, I, I was just working out. The reason why I'm doing the branches first is because I use the because I don't like wasting fabric. I use the base that what's left over of this to make the base of the oh, tree. Oh, okay, okay. There we are. Oops, a bit of bonder web on that bit. So you can see I've already been cutting with the, this piece. Mm. Where's my other one gone? There it is. So, camouflage. Uh, where should I have it? That's right. So, line them up. Okie go. And just line them up as you go along. So you want to make sure you've got everything ready, your ironing board's ready to go. Uh -huh. Good pair of scissors, rotary cutter, have it all out ready. Would you do all of your cutting out before you start doing any applying? Or do you I do, but, but then you tend to, with me, I tend to look back and go, oh, it needs a new flower, it needs another flower there. So. Um, the only thing that I'll do step by step is the sewing. Right. So, I mean, today, obviously, we, it, you know, the, like I said, it's, it's not something, it's not a project that you can actually do in an hour. So, but when you do come to sew all your appliqué pieces down, I tend to um, do it as sew as you go. Yeah. So only um, stick a couple to the quilt at a time and then um, try and get caught okay. on. Uh, Ruth, I love, I'll ask, Rebecca Reed's in, she's in charge of that, I'll ask for you. I saw someone else put that up on Facebook this week. We're doing Flower of the Month, which is, um, a Bird of the Month, which is like the third or fourth Monday of each month. <laughs> Last month the pigeon didn't arrive because our suppliers uh, let us down a little bit. It's not their fault, it's not their fault at all, because we're all in this together. But I'll ask about the Flower of the Month definitely for you, I'll definitely ask for you. So you want to make sure when you're doing the applique is to press the seams flat and open. Only because if you get the um, a part of an applique piece on a corner, it will just look a bit messy. Right. So this just makes it all a bit flatter and just a bit tidier. So I'm just going to press them open as I go down. There we go. So the irons, I've only just turned the iron on. Oh. So yeah, the red light's still on. It's not quite ready to go. No. Yet. Getting there. Oh, excuse me, my stomach was rumbling there. Oh, I was about to say mine was as well. I thought I heard yours. Yes, yeah. so. <laughs> I thought I'd get away with that. <laughs> it's getting up early, isn't it? And yeah, then you don't really want to the, eat. Yeah, because I can't have my porridge. It's too early to have my porridge before mm. I leave. And then I bring it with me and then we don't get a chance. While well, in the two hours that we're here before the show, we don't get a chance to make it. So uh, I've only had my apple slices. And I was about to have a gluten-free, dairy-free, everything oh, free Kit Kat. Kit Kat. But I, I opened the packet and it, it fell on, on the, the floor. floor. Oh, dear. Wasn't meant to have it. No. Thank you, Emma, for that. <laughs> I didn't mean... Oh. Right, there we are. Flat. There we go. Give it another quick quest. Okay. Now, so I've already prepared some branches. So I'm going to get those out of the bag. I've already cut them out. Be careful if you do pre-cut out bond web because the backing can come off a little bit. Yep. So if you are going to do your pattern and then you're going to start a plique in the next day, I tend to get a really nice big heavy cookery book or something and, and to keep them flat in there and that stops it peeling away. Okay. 
So, and then when it comes to laying on the branches, don't think too much about placement, as in um, where you're going to have all the different colours yeah. run through the branches. Just let them pick up all the different colours. Don't be too fussy about it. There we are. So because some of these have got a bit... Yeah, you haven't brought it in, a big cookery book, have you? No, I couldn't reach it. I couldn't get it back off the shelf last night. <laughs> the shelves in our utility room, or... Well, I've just learnt scullery. Oh, scullery, yeah. yes. So, scullery. so I'm going to start calling it the scullery. Um, I couldn't reach. The shelves are up really, really high. So I, I well, need to get... where your cookery books are. <laughs> yeah. So I need to get a stool. There they are. So have your kids gone back to school? What uh, date's it? They go this they, month, they go back on Monday. <gasps> yeah. That would be a shock to the system for everybody, oh, wouldn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to be... Yeah. I'm, no, I'm you'll miss them because it'll be too quiet. Oh no, it's it's going to be quite nice. I, don't get me wrong, I love my children dearly, but um, it is time for them to go yeah. back. It is, it's and where they need to be. Are they have they had to go in for um, COVID tests and things today or something? Or? No, not not. Well, they're my my two are in primary. Oh, so, okay, okay. So um, I think grown up, not grown up school, but the secondary schools, they're all having to have um, tests, aren't they? Yeah, my the my best friend Bex, she she'll be at the school now. She took the kids. To, uh, my kids are in school today. Right, they've gone in today. Um, um, but uh, she she works at a, prime, a high school, Kyneton, you know. Kyneton oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she works there, so she's having to um, get all the children vaccinated. And I looked at a house in Kyneton. Is, is there a stately home or something there? And they, they, these were in the grounds of what might not be a stately home there anymore. But they were like the outbuildings. They oh, turned right. into all different houses and things. It's a nice village, Kyneton. Yeah. I cycle through it on our in the, the weekend. So, yeah. Kyneton, it's called, yeah. It's K-I-N-E-T-O-N. I tell you who lives there, um, David Dominey, you know, the, the um, gardener that's on this morning and does a lot of uh, oh, right. um, Alan Titchmarsh shows. Uh, he lives in Kyneton. I think there's a few um, uh, famous people who live there. I think that one of the BBC news readers lives in the next village down from me. Oh, do they? Uh, I've never seen her. No. Right, so you're literally one. doing the branches, but you're kind of putting them in as much as you can. Yeah. As, that one's not going to fit. That one's not going to fit, but uh, only because I've actually cut all that bit. Oh, okay. Off. It's right because I can quickly do another one. So yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do. Maureen calls her scullery the back kitchen. I think my nan used to call it that. Doesn't that come from domestic days? Oh, it doesn't matter. You've cut one. No, you can just rejoin yeah. it or stick them out. Like I said, these I've only put them in there as a guide, so you can, uh, you know, you can, you may. This sounds really bizarre, but you may really like one of the branches, and you can just do lots of them, like oh, in a yeah, circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. So I'm just doing this because I don't want to waste fabric. That's the only reason I'm doing it like that, and then I can cut that bit off there. Okay. Right, let's get your rotary cutters at the ready. If you're not confident with a rotary cutter, because obviously you're not using a, um, a ruler, ruler, then use a pair of scissors. Yeah. Oh, watch that wire. Oh. oh, now I use that one the other day. It's not very sharp, that one. Just oh, isn't careful. it? Let's see how we go. Might have just be my bad cutting. So. Oh. My hands out the way. So now you're cutting on the actual line that you join. So you cut the bond away bigger than the yeah, actual Yeah, only ever so slightly. Yeah. Only because it just saves time. Mm. You could stand there cutting it out for ages, but you know we're busy. We're busy, aren't we? The so yeah. many things to do. Things to do, people to see, but we're not allowed to go and see people. No. <laughs> so. So I'm just being very mindful to not have my hands in. Uh, yes, please. In shot at home, I am just all over the place, and I just do it. But I better not do it. No, no, she doesn't mean in your shot. She means she doesn't want to run it over with the rotary cutter. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's going. No, it's fine. She can put her hand down. It's fine. <laughs> there we are. That will be that. That'll be one. Put that over there. I'll just quickly do these. So always cut away from you though, not towards you, so yeah. just move it around. And also keep all these extra little bits that you're cutting off, especially if they've got bondweb on them, because they could be an extra branch. 
Or also, they could be a beak or they could be a leaf or something yeah. like that, couldn't they? You don't need to go to a, diff a new piece of fabric for every single piece. I want to be making a right mess now. You want to have seen uh, the area when I was cutting, when I was making this. <laughs> it's like an explosion of fabric everywhere. Aww. But it's when you traipse it all through the house and there's threads everywhere. Yeah. So I'm just using the. And they do seem to get everywhere, don't they? The thread. You kind of think, oh, I'm fine, I'll just keep it to this room. And then you come back later and it's all. My mind's upstairs, my sewing room. So it's like there's all threads all down the landing, down the stairs, around the corner. In your socks. Gets everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, I wear flip flops. Oh, you wear flip flops. Yeah. What are you wearing now? You've got shoes on now. I've got, yeah, I've got my show shoes on now. I can't. I've got no shoes on. My shoes are there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Last few. Some very noisy people here today, aren't they? I know. It's uh, there's a lovely atmosphere in here today. Oh, birthday week. See, is Hannah still there or there? Oh, okay, that's fine. And then just when it gets a little bit tricky, just get those scissors out. There we are. There's another one. I'll just cut out one more and then we'll go to the next. Yeah. Bit. But uh, one thing I love though about sewing strips together is I do do, do a lot in some in, in my patterns. And because it really gives it a really nice sort of contrast rather than just using the same piece of fabric. Oh, yeah. There's so not, I, I mean, you can like do this. Method. Or if you had, if you weren't using, if you were using uh, fabric you've got at home, you could almost do the trunk if you wanted to. Just take the base gem, just do it lots of strips from the same fabric if you yeah. wanted to. And just get cut different bits of it out would look nice as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's a nice way of using up your scraps, yes. isn't it? Good scrap buster. How many more have I got on here? Just those two. Okie doke. This one's a small one, this one's a good for a little hook. That'll do it. Make that pointy. Put that there. And then last one. I'll just use my hand out of the way. Have either of your children taken up an artistic uh, Louis likes drawing and painting. Uh -huh. Although he did draw a house on fire the other day. Oh, okay. And he says, this is our house and it's on fire. And I was like, that's a bit oh. worrying. <laughs> 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 like, is this a sign? <laughs> no, he likes doing, he likes doing painting. And he, you know, um, back in the summer, we went out and collected pebbles and things and right. painted them all. And we painted like rainbow ones and NHS ones and oh. things. He loves doing all of yeah. that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's good. He's a, he's a good little drawer, is Louis. But Charlie, oh, no, he's not interested at all. If it's not electronic, he's not bothered. Oh, so he's taken after his dad then? In that, yeah, it? exactly, like his father. Yeah. Okay, for the tree base then, I'm just going to sew these four strips together. I like the look of these ones. Okay. It's got quite a nice, uh, like a tie-dye print when I mm. sew it, isn't it? So I've already sewn two together, as you can see. So then, but if you have got... Um, any left over from the trunk base, just sew those pieces together so you're not wasting any. Yeah, of course. There we are. And then because you're using bond web, it doesn't have to be dead straight, it can be off across any different yeah. angles. Yeah, you don't have to worry so much about the grain, do no. you? Because it's got the stabilising of the bond web. So. I want to put that there. I've already cut out the the base, so I'm just going to put it on so, so it fits. There we go. And then cut that out, and then we'll start making this this tree come to life. Then. Uh -huh. Oh, oh is that wire? What? Where is I it? I don't know. I think I've got it going up the front rather than up my back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll bring the iron up and be on up here with me in a second. I'm going to need the iron lots. Right. So, good purposes. When you're doing the cutting as well, use the 
what would you call that bit? The inside part of the scissors rather yeah. than the end. Yeah. And you've got much more control of your pieces then. There we are. Try not to make too much of a mess because I'm going to need those pieces in a moment. Okay. Okay, so you get your big ba uh, backing piece, get it on the ironing, pressing mat or an ironing board, give it a good press. Now, if you are going to be sewing as you go, which I do recommend you do because you don't want, if you stick all your pieces down and then sew, you've got the risk of them coming loose. Well, like your eyes earlier on your... On your yeah, cow. like the, yeah, exactly that. Yeah, good example, the, 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 like the eyes did on the, on the cow. Mm -hmm. So um, do a few pieces and then sew it down. So I think so I. So now, how do we know where they where they where they go? Where the tr where the, the the trunk goes? Yeah. So I think I've uh, explained. It. I think it's five or six inches from the bottom in the centre. Oh, it says in so here. So a then. good way to find your centre is literally just uh, fold your fabric in half, half again. You find the cross. You have got your centre line. Okay. And then I think it's I said about. Five and then inches. is it obvious where the piece how the pieces fit together? Yeah, yeah. I do it bit by bit. Okay. So step by step on a um, on a cutting mat. I even say practice on the cutting mat, get in it all uh, place first and do not press it down until you are 100% happy with it. Are you 100% happy with that one then? I've got to be in. <laughs> <laughs> I like, see, I like that effect actually, admit that I've done the... the um... You've done it wrong? No, I made it fit the fabric. So oh yeah, see what you mean, any. yeah. See, it's got like the grain going across, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> right, so it's going to stay on there, probably not, is it? Move it out there. Stay there. Okay, right, and get those trunk pieces back. Now this is where it's... Oh, I see, so the, the base is all in one piece. I was thinking yeah. you were now going to piece other bit. Okay, I've got it. So what I'm going to do, so your three larger pieces, you lay on top of each other with a slight overlap. And again, I haven't got that centre line, but follow that centre line of your fabric. Yeah. There we are. So I'm going to press as I go because I'm... But uh, if happening. you were doing it for the first time, you'd lay out, wouldn't you, first? You'd lay it out, have a, few, have a little practice, because you've done all that work in, you know, drawing it all out and then pressing it and then cutting it all out. And the last yeah. thing you want to do is ruin your fabric by peeling it all off. Yeah, or you don't want to get to the end and find two, you've got two identical what bits. Yeah, like that. that's it. But mix up, mixing up the colours will give it this uh, effect that it's twisting, up yeah. the, up the, the, like a twisty trunk. I've got a... Um, an olive tree with a twist, with twists like that goes round in a spiral like oh, that. Oh, lovely. It's 20, well, it, the tree's older than this, but I've had it for 21, 20 and a half years now because it was from Richard and Judy for my 40th oh, birthday. Oh, really? It was in a pot. It's now in the garden. It's gone wild in the garden. Sorry, you might get my, my head in the... No, no, we're not. We're fine. Ah, I see your garden, John. Huh? I've seen pictures of your garden when you put it on Oh, yeah, Facebook. yeah, yeah, Facebook, yeah. I'm very lucky with my girl. Well, it was one of the reasons I bought the house because it just looks out onto fields and nothing else really. Where There's a derelict car out there, but apart from that, this is a very. He's saying that it's a very nice village where you live. Yeah. There we are. No, but there is a derelict car right in my eye line. Oh, is there? And it's been there since <laughs> I bought the house. I was thinking, oh, somebody will move it. Then when I put in, uh, when I, then I went went asked the the lady the. We call her the Lady Mayoress, she's not. Um, who's got that house? And she went, oh, you can't go there, it's very, very poorly. So I didn't go and complain about it. And then the poor man passed away. And now nobody lives in the house. So some of my neighbours have tried to shunt it behind a bush, but I can still see it from my garden. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. So have you, as you notice, I haven't pressed those two pieces. No. I've pressed those pieces, but I've not pressed these yet. Only because you're going to lift those up to lay some of your branches down. Oh, okay, because they're going to go underneath. Yeah. So, scratch the back of your bond web. This is, I'm going to make a right mess today. Yeah, the graphs are the one that um, we're actually doing, the blue one, which I'm going to do this fabric tomorrow morning. Did you say you were having a bit of stress next door, Hannah? Oh, okay. Uh, we've had a couple of questions about the flower of the month blocks and I was just wondering if Rebecca Reed was able to answer that that was all no okay all right yeah no I was hoping to be able to say something before I went because obviously I go in a minute that was all okay it's not it's not it's not Rebecca Reed in charge of it anymore sorry my bad oh. that was my stomach going again 
Oh, what? That was my stomach. Oh, was it? Have you got anything to eat on your way home? No. <gasps> no, I'll go home. I'll get some food. I'll be on my own at home when I get back. Oh. Nick's had to go into work. So it's all going to start changing again now, isn't it? Now that yeah. everyone starts going back to work. I'm looking forward to having a tidier house. Yeah. But then also, have you got pets? No, I'm not. He won't let me have any. Oh. But yeah. it's just it's just that, imagine the pets who've been so used to having people at home for a oh, year now, yeah. and suddenly they're going to be not left on their own. But Cats will be fine, but I'd be pleased to see the back of you, but dogs, you know. And then just tuck under your branches. As I said, you can, can uh, I've, done, I've taken loads of photographs in the instructions, so of course you can completely copy um, my guide and doing them the way I've put them, or you can just put them wherever you like. Mm-hmm. But less is more. Yeah. Don't overdo it with the branches because you don't want to take the eye off all the other. Well, also you want room for the birds and the vines and the flowers and everything That's like that. That's right. So once you've got this down, it really starts to come to life then. But it's uh, just moving the, the the ironing mat underneath. Yeah. Even on an ironing board, the skin is wider than ironing boards. You're gonna have to move it around on your ironing board. Yeah, well, I did it bit by bit at home. Uh, that one can go about there and I'll just do the one more then I'll move on so what I'll do once I've at home once I do this this is where I'll then take it to the, my, my machine I used a variegated thread to sew my tree down but you right. can use whatever you like you see already yours is different to that one that you've done I'm not even turning around looking I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just uh, sticking them where I think will look nice and the best thing about an applique, because if you don't like it and you've done it wrong, you just applique something else over the top, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think a nice little branch over here. And then I think there's one more. You just want to get the balance right on each side. You don't want it to be too top heavy. Or you may want to put the the tree on the side and have the branches coming out. I was going to say, it'd be quite nice if you did do it off-centre, a little off-centre, yeah. and it went off the, pa off the page, off the... You know, it wasn't all completely on the th thing, and then you've got lots of room on the right-hand side and the left-hand side Yeah, that would look lovely. So this is where it's going to be tricky, because I'm, s I'm going to have to lean over. That's all right. There we are. Get under there. What are you doing? There you are. So take your time on that bit. Obviously, I'm just going to carry on. Yeah, carrying on regardless. <laughs> Once I'm happy with the centre of those, I'm just going to have to move the... I'm going to put my head in. Sorry, I'm coming in, Anna. No, your head's not in. Nowhere near yet. They moved the camera, you see, so... Um, up in there. And then I'm just going to move, move it over ever so slightly just to get that one on. Uh -huh. One thing, if this is the project, if I was going to do it for over a period of a few weeks or even months, it would look absolutely stunning if you did twigs and stuff with hand embroidery. I think mm. that would look really beautiful. I have done a little bit of embroidery on, on here uh, as an option. You know, I've done a few French knots to flowers and things and yeah. a few features for the birds. But again, completely optional. You don't have to do it. You know, you might want to add a few buttons on or something for flowers or something. In the middle of flowers. And yeah. Of flowers, yeah. Right, you have to stretch that out. So this is the trickiest bit. After this, it's just fun. You can just add as many details as you like, which is what we're going to crack on and do. Mm -hmm. Right. There we are. So that's really... The most complex part right of it okay okay so then to make the i'm going to keep that up here because i'm going to need it so to make the little vines again you this is wider than one strip of fabric so you just sew in together two pieces and it's about nine inches something like that right and then you just choose where you want to put those so i, I need a cutting mat the size the nine mat the size of, size of yes. the table 
And you don't necessarily have to have them coming off the branches. I've had them coming out from midair. You don't yeah. have to have it. This is where you can be all arty. And so did you sew two bits of fabric the same together to make them? Or did I you did, but you don't have to. Yeah. You can um, mix it up and also reverse them as well by putting them in different um, orientations just by tracing on the other side of the bond web right. will make it so you could have one, you know, like symmetrical coming the other way. Yeah. Emma's just said you've got six minutes left on demo. Six minutes yeah. to get all my pieces glued down. It might be our clocks in here because it says 22 in here. There we are. And then to come off the branches, you can have a couple of your flowers. Just want to show this, these colours. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the, the mix of the light and the dark blue. Amanda says, sat watching you do your demo, Delphine, and outside we've got two beautiful kite birds of prey circling round. That could make a lovely, nice cushion. Oh, the kite birds? Yeah. Oh, lovely. When, I, when uh, after the bird of the month. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, yeah. So that's that flower. I love those colours. Look at those. Beautiful. Where did they appear if I didn't see you put those on? Oh, you were looking at your iPad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just different directions. Make sure you get them all laid out nicely and then we'll add a few birds in, I think. Should we get a little bird sitting on top of this one? Uh -huh. The blue one's going to be very classic, isn't really? it? It's going to be telling a different beautiful. story to the, mm. the brightly coloured one, isn't it? So, we'll have a few flowers. As well, let's mix them up. You could really have fun with this. I love that fabric, it's really pretty. Yeah, available tomorrow morning. Okay, let's have a little birdie. Where's my birds gone? There we oh. are. So, to create a little bird, let's have a blue body. So, it's a little circle. Peel the backing off. Oh, look, uh, Suzanne says this looks stunning already. I can't wait to make mine. Has Delphine designed a rabbit or a hare yet? No, but it, they're in the making. All right, go. When you come to make the birds, make sure each piece of fabric is different to make it stand out. Right. Uh, which way should we have his wing? Let's have him this well, way. Well, from his head backwards, preferably. <laughs> well, I don't know which way I wanted him facing. Oh, okay. And there, and there's his little wings there. And he needs a beak. There we are. His little beak. There we are. Oh. He's most probably going, oh, look at those flowers. They're the same pattern as my wing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? There we are. So there's those bits so far, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. Let's have another bird. And here. which, obviously we're not going to get time to do the stitching. What kind of stitching did you use? I what? used a blanket stitch, which is my favourite to use. Oh, okay. Um, but you can choose to use... But you could uh, do, uh, what's, um, what's Helen Newton's free motion embroidery? You could do that as well if you wanted to. You can to, use that. You? I did that in the background to yeah. finish quilting it, but you can free motion it, you can zigzag stitch it, you can... Oh, I think a satin stitch would be too heavy because it's so quite, so quite delicate, isn't it? Let's have another little bird on this branch over here. Tweeting up to his little friend, look. There we are. Let's have a light tail, because he's got a darker body. So really think about your colours when you're uh, when you're doing this at home, whether you're using the fabrics or your own fabrics. Make sure that they, they're they all completely different. You don't want the same fabric too close to each other, and right. if you do, layer it up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it will... Um, are there different sizes of birds? You can make them different sizes. I've given you one option, but you can do oh, different okay. sizes. Oh, okay. looks a bit smaller than the one he did a minute ago. <laughs> Maybe it's my eyes. It's your eyes, John. <laughs> They're old and tired. <laughs> there we are. Let me use that one peeled off. That'll do. Love that one. What are you muttering about? I'm talking to myself. Yeah. 
So you can see, once you've got all your pieces cut out, it can come together really, Quite really quickly. Quite quickly, yeah. Really quickly. But as you, now, now, you said you'd stitch as you go. So once you've done the tree, would you then stitch the tree? I'd stitch the tree, and then I'd add maybe the one vine and a few, a few flowers. Then and I'd then go back that, to stitch yeah. again, yeah. Let's so if you wanted to, if you if you wanted it, if you're one of these people who can't do just random, just doing it, you could actually just lay the whole thing out on a, a bed or a table or something like that. Yeah. So you know where each each bit's going roughly. So you know you like the finished picture because you're yeah. not going to know what your finished picture's like no. until you're finished, are you? I laid all the pieces down on the dining table and I take I take a photograph. Right. On my phone. Yeah. And then you just uh, come to uh, pick up each piece and then do it that way. Yeah. I think I even I think I even wrote that in there. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, I have Oh, he's got a check now, isn't he? He's yeah. going to pull me up on it of now. Of course. Go, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, no, it's too many words. I'll look later. Will you really look later, though? What? Would you really look later? You're going I will crazy. now. Now you've said that, <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, hello. So, yeah, don't don't look up when you're doing the applique. Like, I just looked up at John to see if he was checking. I just got the glue. Uh, did you burn yourself? No, I uh, just... Once I decided where to lay my pieces, I take a quick photograph, I then take them off and press them <laughs> and sew them into place one by one. This will stop you from damaging them or risk any coming loose. There you go. And it's even in bold. It's not even in normal Oh, is it, is it under a tip? It's under a tip, There yes. you go. And I've also put in little buds as well that you can, you know, little extra little shapes that you can put underneath to make them a bit bigger. What sort of flowers are they then? I don't know. I think you've got echinacea <laughs> underneath the base, at the base of the tree. Yeah. What's the one? yellow ones. It's a daisy, isn't it? No, it's echinacea Is when it? they go backwards like that. Ah. And the petals are like that. Yeah. Oh, those ones. Oh. Echinacea. Yeah, there's loads of different flowers. I said I haven't had... It, like and said, bluebells, looks like bluebells, yeah, blue echinacea. Bells. Some bright pink ones. They're, they're like um, blue bells, but pink bells. P pink bells, yeah. That very famous, pi that very famous plant, pink bell. It's art, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's art. It's your interpretation of it. Yeah, exactly. There pink bells. So I'll know. just put this one on, and then I'll. Yeah, we will have to finish that. anyway. See, there's not enough hours in the day, is there? So I keep, when I'm doing the flowers, I tend to do them in bunches, but you can mix them all up. You can just mix out all yeah. the different, what are you doing? There we are. Fabulous. So obviously there is, I, I did do loads and loads of prepper pieces, but there's not enough time. Well, no, no, because so you've shown us how to do it, how to make it. It's the most important So thing. that would look stunning, I think, in And will you finish that one at home now, then? That's why this should I, I, No, I've, I've got to think of... I'll, I'll do the cow, but I will uh, I might take a section of that and make a cushion. I'll get Hannah to do it. Hannah, Hannah can do it. Yeah, yeah, you can have it, She's got loads Hannah. of time. Um, when are you in next? The 17th. 17th. What day of the week's that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, OK, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Because after tomorrow, I'm, I, 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 there's two weeks go by and I'm only in once. Are you? Yeah, it's because Vix is getting all the shifts at the beginning because obviously at the end yeah. it might be a bit. And then you're going to have two very busy weeks after that. Uh, 12 months. Uh, oh, yeah, and then 12. How long, does, how long do you have off for maternity leave? I don't know. It depends how much she wants off. Well, so Vix was so funny before she had, before, well, she hasn't had the baby yet, but before she was like, oh, I'll be back after two weeks. It'll be oh. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Bless right, she put the baby down on the mat, won't she? Right, okay then, okay then, let's do this because I've got to go because uh, um, Rebecca Reed's coming up to do yarn laid in a segment. So the colourway that we're working with here, you get the design roll, which will be featured tomorrow. You get the uh, metre and a half of ivory and you get the uh, instructions, £53.99. pence. Then there's the other bundle, which makes this colourway. I'll show you very quickly there. From a cushion so you get the design roll this is white and the instructions that's about to sell out that one that's about to sell out instructions on their own are sold out the brightly colored one with the navy background just sold out uh, bond web sold out i've got some wadding to show you very quickly before i go on cotton batting queen size now this is quite big 
You don't need this much. This is just one that we've just... Go to the website. Go to the website and choose the batting you need. Or unless you're going to keep it in your stash or whatever. But uh, this is very big. You, you need to cut your batting a little bit bigger. But this is very big for that one piece there. £32.99. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Right. Now I need to do the menu for tomorrow first. Because we're going to Yarn Lane now, aren't we? So, to oh no, it's 8 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So 8 o'clock, we've got Mode of the Blues Fabric. So the, the jelly roll or the design roll I just showed you, we've got this one. We've got that one in fabrics by the half metre at 8 o'clock. So launching that at 8 o'clock. Then at 9 o'clock, so different Moscow dress with Adele. Oh, now, if you watch the Queen's Gambit and you love the frocks in the Queen's Gambit, that's where you need to be watching tomorrow at 9 o'clock with Adele. Chai Paul. Then we've got the Cafe. Cafe Facets Bring in Purple Quilt with Susie Duncan at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Sicilian Top and Harmon Tea with Adele. And then at 12 o'clock is where I've got the pre-cuts, which is the brightly coloured ones from the navy blue one we did, and pre-cuts in this as well. Uh, right, now, if you go, don't go away. If you're watching on the telly, stay where you are. Stay where you are, because Yarn Lane will be up in a minute. If you're watching on YouTube, the web, or Facebook, you need to go to the Yarn Lane ones of those to be able to watch the next hour. I'm not doing it, Rebecca Reed is doing it. It's iNits, it's a brand new guest. Now, if you've already bought something from Sewing Street, your PMP is paid for for the day if you buy something from Yarn Lane. If you haven't bought anything yet from Sewing Street and you buy something from Yarn Lane, you'll also be put into the uh, competition prize. Um, we will announce tomorrow about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock who won the Tilda bundle. And then tomorrow we'll have another prize to offer up tomorrow. Remember, everybody who's bought the whole week will go into the prize at the end of the week. Um, I think that's all I have to say, isn't it? Yep. So Rebecca Reed's up next with uh, our, our brand new guest, iNits. And I will be back. I'll see you tomorrow morning um, at 8 o'clock.